Game on. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Good morning. How's it going, everybody? That number is going up. Welcome to day four of the subathon. How are you? I'm tired. You're tired. We're still here, which is remarkable. I, uh, yeah. Holy moly, friends. I guess we're going to start with some manor lords and just see what happens. That number says 50 minutes. I don't necessarily trust it. It said 30 when I went to bed last night. <laughs> uh, we had uh, Sirius Tyru sub for 44 months and then just drop a 10 bomb. You know, thank you so much, friend. Your birthday is next week. So double reason to gift. I'm trying to push the subathon to next week. <laughs> there is a cap. There is an end in sight, and that would be, uh, or like 24 hours. We, we need a big push on that one. 23 more hours maximum, and then I have to go back to real life. I have this other job I have to work every now and then. Oh, yeah, I restarted my computer. No, it wasn't last night, actually. I had to upload all the videos to YouTube last night, but I did, um, I did restart everything this morning, and so far, nothing is flickering, flickering. I did close the uh, the wheel, though. I don't know if we're going to wheel today. Maybe... If there's a big push and we come back to tomorrow, is that how English works? We could wheel, we'll like fix the wheel and we'll, we'll do like, I don't know, we'll figure out something. But yeah, I need to link my Amazon Twitch. <laughs> oh, good morning, my friends. Well, let's get right into the game. Let's maximize this time. Uh, Manor Lords, I'm, the more I think about it, the more I think what I want to do, I think I want to start a new game. And I want to maximize the trade perks right off the bat. We learned a lot yesterday. We survived our first attack. And I'm really curious to see um, if we can do even better. Now, once again, I do think we want to be uh, the house of the rising slug. Right? Except this time, maybe let's go... Wait. What? Oh, there's so much happening here. I can do multiple slugs? Oh my god. How do I change the other ones? Okay, I can only change the slug. Wow. Hey, Nerd Without Name, thank you very much for the 46. Build that manor and happy belated. Thank you so much. Uh, yo. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. All right. How do I change the secondary symbol? Symbol, primary color, secondary color, number of instances, scale. <gasps> Sorry. We got to go back. We got to go back to like this. Oh, my God. Look at it. <laughs> Boop. Oh, I love that snail. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look at, I mean, look at that. Starting early? I mean, this is a normal time I start in here. 8 in the a.m. Good morning, Stiz. What's up, friends? Oh, wow. Nobody told me that my game was completely a slideshow. Give me a second here. I forgot. I have to do this. It's going to be a little bit broken for a second as I try and fix OBS. Please hold. Eh. 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 If I do not game capture, we just die. Hey, good morning, Under King. All right. What do you think of our beautiful crest? Very fancy. Thank you. Joe gets me. All right. Domination, Conquest. Domination, eliminate all other lords by claiming their territory. What's the difference between that and Conquest? Endless play, Growth. Domination. I restarted my computer. If everything is feeling weird, please let me know. 
and I'll fix stuff. Unconstrained. Oh, I understand. Weather events balanced. I want less weather. Wait. Weather is cosmetic only and won't do any harm. Players get a warning if supplies get soaked. Oh, I was hoping I could like turn down the rain because it's just visually very boring. <laughs> sure, let's do the same thing again, but this time better. Hey, I'm glad you're feeling better, Don Chromatic. Good morning, friend. It's not quite 8 a.m. Well, look, I'm the kind of guy who, if my shift starts at 8, I get there early, you know? Build up your town. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So something I learned last time is I can actually upgrade this to a worker camp. Uh, and then nobody is homeless, which is kind of cool. Ooh, we hold on. So we're on the left side this time. We've got wild animals. We've got berries. We've got stone, clay, and iron. Very interesting. Last time we had mega aminals, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Rich iron to the south. More berry, more animals. Just wondering if I were to expand, which way I would want to expand to. All right. Um, first things first. Let's start clearing the forest to our left here. Hey, what's up, Craterona? Thank you so much for the five bomb, friend. That is tremendously generous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Did the timer go up a bunch? Ay, jeez, yes. It's gone up over an entire hour already. <laughs> Those are tier three subs? That went up so much. Yo, Craterona, that is wildly generous. Holy moly. I was just like, why did that number shoot up so much? So for what it's worth, every tier three sub is worth five tier one subs for the purposes of making this number go up. That is so generous. The community has literally floated me on gifts for over a year. It's time to turn the favor. Thank you so much, friend. Dang. Hold on. Uh, I haven't updated the uh, stream title yet. Please give me a second. Y'all. All right, where are we? All right, so check this out. Now, they all live in this little work camp uh, and nobody complains. Ah? You love to see it. Good morning, Tamalee. That's, that's, in, that's amazing, Craterona. Thank you so much, friend. Did it ever go down to 10 minutes yesterday? It got pretty low. Boiler Snake, thank you for the five bomb. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. We have uh, quadrupled the starting, the timer. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's get two chop chops. Uh, and then let's start thinking about our, our city, you know? And I think I want to continue it down maybe towards the stone deposit here. So if that's the case, let's get a nice little curve. Ooh, that's a very aggressive curve. There we go. So I think what I want to do is I want to put my market here and then grow the city around it. How am I finding Manor Lord so far? This might be the game I have been waiting for like my entire life. You know, just to, just to put it mildly. <laughs> this might be everything I have wanted out of a game for a tremendously long time. We were, we were talking about some like old school games. 
we were talking about post people are posting photos in discord about it about just being like oh yeah i remember this hold on let's go about here not enough goods oh i can't queue it up if i don't have the wood for it huh that's fine all right so in which case while i while i wait let's get some storage down then shall we before the rain starts and then we'll we'll go a little bit stop that please i have to put the well right where the um where the water is so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna leave everybody in the camp for now uh and we're gonna build down the essentials while we collect wood and then we'll uh we'll try we'll try stuff in a different order this time around holy moly buff thank you for using your prime here Happy subathon. I could listen to the moving story about your mom and dad over and over. You laughing while telling it cracks me up. Happy she's okay. Thank you so much. A very sneaky friend. Just gifted five as well. We are getting very, very close to the uh, Jake James out for poutine thing. Wait, hold on. You're still homeless? I gave you a camp. You're not supposed to complain. I gave them a camp. Wow. Unbelievable. It's just so hard to find good help these days. That's a wild amount of generosity. So much, friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, shout out, if you got one of the five tier three gift subs, you got to use those rainbow beans while you got them. They're so pretty. Is this a new playthrough? Yeah. I thought I'd take all the knowledge that we learned last time and uh, see what happens if we start fresh. <clears throat> So for example, one of the one of the trade perks just lets you have like it's unbelievable. Uh, I heard of your renowned uh, Hildebond von Bernuti. It's all good. Yeah, the time has gone up. Yeah. <laughs> Fuji was definitely correct last night. Yeah, man, it was so funny. I was like, hey, there's like less than an hour left. Should I just keep going? And Fuji was like, no, end the stream. Go to bed. <laughs> the timer is a liar. And I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> so I love this, for example. Like, you don't place down a house. Instead, instead what you do is you make a, like, a shape. And it kind of fills it. So just to, just to, for people who weren't here yesterday, this is really neat. So when you place a house, right? The first thing in there, that's the shape of the house. And then if you make a weird thing, you can make me have two residences on it. Or if you make it long, they actually have space for a small business around the back, which is also incredibly cool. Uh, and then what you can have is you can have sort of these more organic shapes and they can fill in so you don't have to make necessarily like a full grid or whatever. Love that. Party in the front, business in the back. This is the mullet of medieval times. <laughs> you got it. So I could start with um, a goat and a chicken again, or for fifteen dollars, I could do three small root vegetables. What do you want to do? Do you want to see? Do you want to see goat and egg again, or do you want to see? Um, or do you want to see us go with a veggie start? I could go double goat turnips. Well, you don't get to pick the vegetables. They kind of just pick the veggies that they want, you know. Burgage. I'm imagining if it's English, that's just pronounced burgage. Uno! Thank you very, very, very much. Oh my God, do we have leet 1337? <laughs> Thank you, Uno. Ah, oh. gamer alert. No mat means no goat. Well, the goat lets us get um, leather. Getting Jason man. Thank you for the fifteen. I guess I'm not leet anymore. You know what? Let's let's actually try something different here. Let's go double goat, and then maybe try and get into. Uh, maybe try and get into uh, what am I looking for here? Uh, leather working as quickly as possible.
goats for days, y'all. So yeah, check this out. Because they're larger, you can add a little yard to the back. Thomas the goat. Conrad the goat. Oh my god. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is we actually want to build a couple of additional houses here. So that we can get... So we can get some new people to move in. And my thought is, I'm actually going to do another community here, but it's going to be smaller houses that don't have the back farms. Or shorter, at the very least, so we can make those businesses. Uh, the larger you make the plot, if you put, like, veggie in there too, you get a higher yield. So we could do, like, some pretty long ones later on, maybe around here, and have those aim towards agriculture. Do we need to get approval over 50? That I don't know about. So we have neutral approval. Neutral approval was the same from 50 all the way up to 80. I think we just didn't have enough extra houses. Is the big thing. So we're about to house everybody. And this worker camp should go away as soon as everything is in here. Well, let's get rid of the worker camp so nobody's living in it. Okay, the other thing I need to do is I need to get some storage. So this is where I want my market to be. And uh, I know we're going to have some industry down here. I don't want them to move too far from this, though. So let's actually extend this road out into the woods a bit. And let's put our construction storage right here. So let's build that first. Actually, maybe I put the granary right here where the market's going to go. Well, I could put it... No, that's where I wanted the houses to go. I could put it here. It's a good shape. A message from the king. I don't particularly want a militia, but thank you. All right, you gave me spears and shields. We Sparta now, Twitch chat. <clears throat> all right, so it's starting to rain. So what we want to do is we want to start getting all of our supplies and start putting them away so they don't get damaged, right? Yeah, those are the supplies right now. Just sitting there. No, this is a brand new start. We started over. Yeah, the number went up, Gunner. <laughs> uh. I have to wait for this stuff to go. Oh, I need to move the hitching post, actually. My exposed goods are getting soaked. Alright, next goal. Get some more people coming in here. So I want these to be... Not as big. I need them to be slightly bigger than that. Because I need them to have a little bit of room for a yard. Is that six houses? Seven plots is too many plots. Let's go here. There we go. That's five again, huh? So these are slightly smaller. So these are going to be like workshops and professional buildings. I want these to be like tanners and fletchers and all that stuff. All right. And then finally, I need a market, which is something I've learned earlier. Is it industry? Residential, the marketplace. So the goal here 
Let's do that and see. Hopefully, I left myself enough room for a church there. Hold on. We can actually, we can test that. Oh, man. No, the church is thick. Never mind. <laughs> Dang. Uh, can I put the pub, the pub there? Church is going to go here, apparently. Maybe the pub can go there. All right, you know what? Let's just make this whole thing the marketplace. No, no, no. Let's let's start. Let's start a little bit modest. Let's do this, and I can put some other stuff there in the meantime. See, like, take a peek at this now. Like we're cooking, right? We got room for extra people to move in right away. We've already got a market. So look at this. Firewood stall and a marketplace for food. And the next thing we want to do is we want to start collecting these berries and hunting these aminals. I feel like in the first 10 minutes of this game, we're now as far as we were in the six hours we played yesterday. <laughs> the advantage the advantage of a practice run, right? <clears throat> what am I low on? Everything. Cool. Great. Let's just wait for these houses to get built first. Putting the church next to the pub may be an overdone gag. But what if it makes sense? I'm just looking at space. Oh, right. Hold on. So, um, I'm not going to get a trader yet, but this is going to be our second upgrade. Like, without a doubt, trade logistics seems absolutely cracked. I think what we want to do is just double our berry deposits and use that as a primary source of food for a little bit here. So point one, point two, and I don't even know if we got to point three last time, but like these trade perks just seem so cracked. We'll just trade for everything else. Okay, then with our last two workers, what we're going to do is we're going to, I mean, actually, once everything's put away, yo, Dogma, what's up, friend? Thank you so much for the 10 bomb. I really, really appreciate that. Did I ever actually get sheep in the last game? I did, yeah. Hey, friends, if you've been gifted a sub or, you know, just, just throw some good vibes either way. What an incredible start to the day. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Oh, yeah, the bongo emote is so good. Uh. So right when this month ticks over, we should get our first new family moving in. And then we'll do firewood and food. All right, gathering, let's get them. Wait, what does the forester do? Plants new trees. Okay, I'm not too worried about that yet. So we want to put this down. New mercenary company is available. We aren't worried about avalanches. They're a very real threat. It's true. <laughs> Currently feeling safe-ish. Ah, I'm running out of food. Way ahead of you. I'm also running out of fuel. I mean, we could also put this here. No, they're going to mine the same forest. I mean, that's probably fine. So my thought here, by the way, is I'm probably going to get attacked from these directions. So I want to start clearing these trees because uh, remember we had the archers last game. So I don't really need to worry about clearing these trees. I want to clear in this direction so that I can see them coming. <laughs> what do you mean I could get attacked from off map? Oh, there you go. We have our first new family that moved in. Right off the bat. And yeah, the approval is still 50. So it didn't have to do with approval. It just had to do with the timing of new houses.
You know, my people do appear to be starving. Maybe with that new person who moved in, we also get a hunting camp down, you know? I think that's a good idea. Good idea, Jaeger. Thanks, Jaeger. So we'll put uh, one person there, two, three, and then one person into the granary. And they'll run the food back and forth. And then we'll get one more person in to be a spare builder. And then once we get to eight, we'll get a, uh, a timber chopper going. Somebody to turn timber into planks. Hunting limit. What's the population there? 20? Yeah, stop at 10. Love that this game has hunting limits on the hunting camps. All right, we have exactly one month of food left. That's okay. We got there just in time, right? <laughs> I mean, actually, you know what? Let's get another forger going right now, just because... I'm a little bit worried about that number. We can do without fuel. Can't really do without food. There's one thing peasants hate. It's being hungry. <laughs> number go up. It went really up, eh, Geister Carl? <laughs> Holy moly. So I do need a store I do need a storehouse person to basically run around and grab us stuff. So I still think that's a good call. So like if our logging camp gets full, for example. Running out of fuel. Way ahead of you there, bud. <laughs> Way ahead of there. I managed a birthday subathon all the way to your birthday. Birthday fusion. Hey, real quick. Happy birthday, friend. That's tremendously exciting. Hope you're doing well. Happy birthday to you. Hey, good morning, Alex. Hope you're having a great subathon. I am. I'm sad I didn't get to have poutine with all of you this weekend, but you know what? This has been a pretty good weekend as well. I want to have breakfast and there wasn't a two there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, folks have been wildly generous already at the start of the day. Oh, you're in Chicago at your sister's wedding. You didn't get to have poutine either. Man. Hey, the Elrad. Thank you for gifting a birthday sub to Flouncy Magoo. Happy birthday, friend. Thank you, the Elrad. One of these games never set some place where the living is easy. I mean, I know I wouldn't want to live in England either. <laughs> oh, the Elrad. Off by one. Nah. Thank you, friend. Good morning, Mr. Gibberish. Is this song being played on a recorder? So I believe once I get a church going, and I want to upgrade these first. Yeah, I just need to get a church, and then I can start uh, leveling everybody up. Oh, here we go. We got the next brigade. So the goal for that then will be to put the um, the wood chop chop right here. That's the technical term, by the way, the wood chop chop. So this game was already one of my most anticipated games of the year, and it is absolutely, absolutely 
crushing all of my expectations in the best possible way. It's so good. <laughs> this. And for an early access version as well, man. So there's a version of like, you know, Baby Surge playing. What was the game we were talking about? And we posted photos in the Discord, like old school, old school um, kingdom management and combat games and stuff like that. Lord of the Realms 2, yeah. Man, just Lord of the Realms 2 to this, right? It's beautiful. All right, we got six months worth of food stocked up now. I can take one of my foragers. Resources stolen by bandits. Y'all, where are these bandits even at? Oh, all the way down there. <clears throat> so something I learned last time is it's potentially extremely worth our time. Potentially extremely worth. Good job, Jaeger. <laughs> uh, to hire mercenaries to go up and just mess up bandits, you know? How much wood would a wood chop chop if a wood chop could chop wood? Well, currently they're at zero, so I need them to pick up their game. The name of the town is in German, so it probably isn't English. Two things. One, I thought English was already like 75% German. Uh, and two, I believe this game is actually legitimately set in, in England. Like somewhere between the 11th and 14th century of England. I mean, where's where's that other baron's name? Where's their, How do I talk to them? Where's my diplomacy? How do I diplomacy again? Right here, right? Hildebot von Brunnenut. Wait, maybe it doesn't actually make it look... This doesn't actually make it look any less English. Sorry, never mind. I, I resist my case. <laughs> Ignore I said anything. <laughs> Vaughn is also German. I know, I know, I know. I saw that and I was like, wait a second. This doesn't prove my case. <laughs> Trying to figure out what uh, Eichenhau means. How'd I do for pronouncing that like I was German, which I'm not? Eichenhau? Eichen? Eichen. That's my guess. As a non-German speaker. It's like one step away from... One house, cool. Ike is oak. Oak cow? Literally translates to oak hit, if taken literally. Huh. Hey, what's up, host? Heard there are burbs today. Happy birthday, thank you. It's my birthday week extravaganza. Hey, Jesse improved. 42. I finally found the answer to life, the universe, and everything. Wow. Stands for Oak Chop. I'm something of an Oak Chop myself. All right. Uh, where's my church at? It requires 20 planks. Okay. Oh, right. I forgot that this is just going to yell at us every time the log storage gets full. Nice. A how in medieval times is also what you'd call a sword stroke. So Oak Chop. I mean, we are chopping down all these oaks. You know, I think it I think it works. Is there a tree called is there a city called like Tree Fell? You know, this could be like that. Alright, so we've got 20 hides right now. <clears throat> it's a very organic name, thank you. So he's going to start building two more homes. I really want to expand aggressively here. So we'll see what we can do while we wait for the um, the timber to be turned into planks. Wow, I almost have 20 planks, which is what I need for the church. So what we're going to do is we're going to do church, and then we're going to do stone chop chop. 
You haven't seen the cinnamon roll in a while? Joe had a, a birthday hat on it the other day. This is a very anthill feel. Describe what anthill means to you, Corpocracy. I'm curious. A new family member has joined. Sick. I love how they set up the construction horses to get in there too, right? They're like, we'll chop these logs, get planks out, and you're like, yeah, let's go. You send everyone off to do their tasks and a lot of waiting and watching. I don't think it's I think I don't think it's that unique to specifically survival builders, especially in the early game. Right? Like, I'd say the first cycle in Timberborn is similar to this. It just depends on how quickly the game lets you grow your population. Because, like, the more people you have, the more complex and simultaneous tasks you can have. <clears throat> I saw we did Crab Champions after I went to bad. How'd I like it? It was fun. I We did two runs and got zero meta progress, which felt a little bit bad. But, you know, still a good time. For a second, I thought you meant like Anthill and that you just enjoy sitting and watching it, which I think is true of any city builder game. Like I could sit and watch traffic flow in city skylines forever. Have I ever told you that one of my favorite, again, not guilty pleasures, because that's not how that works. I love just sitting and watching fish tanks. Oof. If I was really, really rich, I'd have like a giant empty room and one entire wall would be a fish tank. And then the room would be empty other than like a chaise long. And I would just like, <laughs> and just sit there, just sit there and stare at it, you know? Watch the fish exist. All right, so the money is done. Uh, let's get our church down now. And I'm gonna put it centered. And we're gonna remember this time that if and when we want to upgrade our church, we need to fire all the grave diggers first. Man, we ran into a hilarious bug yesterday where when you try and upgrade the church, if there are staff, your construction workers will try and deliver stone and your church workers will be like, hey, we didn't order stone and they'll walk the stone right back. <laughs> they just, they just, they just go back and forth and it never gets built. <laughs> We're like, oh my God. <laughs> <clears throat> um, Manor Lords is not properly optimized, so I can't actually click on links or it breaks everything. Sorry to Amelie. Remind me to check out your photo later, though. <clears throat> what about just an underwater glass dome? I don't think you'll ever be that rich. Fish aren't real? That's fair. That's a good fan art prompt. <laughs> it's a fish tank with a space for a cat to sit inside of it. Ooh. But I am horrifically allergic to cat, so that that one's probably not for me. But I still, I get it, you know? All right. So we chop, chop the wood. We chop, chop the trees. I got two people building. And then I imagine I need to get my granary growing. Oh, wait, no, they're carrying it to the pantry. Ah, uh, they're not. Okay, so the berry person is doing it, but we're getting full of hides here. Isn't it amazing? One practice game and we're just flying now, huh? So there's a neat thing that's happening in this game and I don't know how much they're gonna make it work, but they've they've given us uh, desire lines where we make our paths obviously, but whenever they branch off the path a lot, natural paths are forming too. And that's so cool games that do this, you know?
A new family murder murdered <laughs> moved in. Why did I say murdered? <laughs> uh And hold on, how do you feel about this? <clears throat> the quarry is actually right beside the church that they built it with. Isn't that kind of cool? I think that's kind of cool. What are you planning to do with all your peasants? Give them a good and easy life. <laughs> it's never too early to get loopy. I, look, I'm I'm on day four of the subathon here. I'm doing my best. Keep the central area empty. Well, my goal is to make this a market, which I is kind of a big deal, but we'll see how that goes, you know? Is this a new game? This is, yeah, we started over. We started over. Never heard the term desire path. In German, they are called trample fed or trample path. Okay. How the timer get up back to two hours? That's what I want to know, Brooke. I don't know. Okay, so now that this is built, we can start upgrading some of our houses. All right, we need a clothing stall. Uh, do I have leather? I have hides. Hold on. So I need one industry. Turns hides into leather. Right, the tannery. You know what? What if we just do it right out here? No, no, no. We have goats as well. Let's. I'm going to try and listen to people this time and put this a little bit further away from town, even though I don't think it matters. So hides into leather is going to let us get a clothing stall set up and then we can start upgrading houses to level two <clears throat> in dutch they're called olifanten pads which translates to elephant path neat is the goal to have a 365 birthday subathon i mean unfortunately i do work another job so i can't go indefinitely uh this will be capped at if if people are absolutely out of their mind, this will be capped at 22 more hours. I can only go 24 more hours, 12 hours today and 12 hours tomorrow. At which point my 39 year old body will just turn to dust. Can you believe that we are basically at the exact same point we were in at the end of last game already? Wild. So if you fill up the sub bar, the surge will be defeated with a, with a heavy heart, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> so we set up three milestones for the subathon. There's a thousand subs. I take Ben Ben on a, uh, a coffee ice cream adventure which I do plan to live stream, by the way. So I'll do like an IRL stream one afternoon with Ben Ben. Ben Ben and Surge paint the town red. And then um, at 1500, which we're very close to, by the way, I'll take James for poutine, which I don't know. I feel less comfortable live streaming in a, a restaurant than I do like a coffee shop and driving around town. But I'll post photos in the Discord. And then if we absolutely cap the subathon at 60 hours, I don't know what it is. We can brainstorm it together, but I promise canal. I don't know what it means, but you'll have your canal chat. A bandit camp was sighted. Rude. Get out of here, you hosers.
Could be a beach day. Could be. Ooh, new families moved in just in time for the tannery to become operational. The tannery is fully armed and operational. Serge will have to build a canal through central Victoria. <laughs> hey, what's up, Asher? Thank you so much for the 13 months, friend. All right, so now that we have a tannery, a new clothing stall should pop up automatically like that. So that's going to let people start to get clothing. So we've got food, we got firewood, and we got clothing. So this is a really interesting thing that this game does. If you make things that produce goods, your townspeople will automatically and organically make like use the market to start distributing those goods to all the houses. Isn't that so cool? <clears throat> Hold on, let's take a second here. And our foppish lord, hello. Shall wander through the town. Ah, uh, very good. Ah, yes, I can see that everything is coming together nicely. Good morning, peasant. Ah. Tis I, your lord. Good. The market is flourishing. Soon I'll be able to tax you. <laughs> Let's go say hello to the goats. My finest subjects. <gasps> Good day. Cannot help but notice that you're multiplying. <laughs> I have many goats now. What are their names? Conrad, Jorge, Tommen, and Nickel. Oh my god, I love their names. Not flawless, but pretty good cloth physics for that cape. This game is still very early access. Right, this is even pre-early access. This is like a pre-pre-early access, like, creator whatever. All right, let's start leveling up the houses. Wait, at least two types of food satisfied. Oh, because I don't have eggs. Well, I'm giving meat. What do you mean I don't have two types of food? Oh, we stopped hunting. Shoot. All right. So I need to start getting a second type of food. Uh, I don't really have the people for it yet. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to continue to aggressively treat Chop Chop. And then what I want to do is... It's kind of unfortunate I don't have a second food source right now. I guess I could start importing a second food source. Like, I could build a trader right now. You got to put the trade post on the King's Road. That was a nice flowing cape. Oh, yeah. My my thing was it's just going to get nicer. Okay, I don't need that much stone. I just wanted to get some going now, but yeah. Let's try and get some early trade going. So I can sell early hides. Sure. I think the next place I want to put houses is here. And I'm going to do another road here about. So it looks like roads get placed down as paths and the more they get traveled, 
the thicker they become, which is kind of interesting. So yeah, once this is done being built, I'm going to move the logging camp closer to the woods. Where should we put our castle, chat? I kind of like here. Right at the tippy tip of our land. We could try and expand up in this direction. I don't know. We'll see. On a hill, traditionally. The topography looks relatively flat. I mean, the other option was near water, but all the water is underground, which is kind of interesting. I mean, which is fine, but you know. Oh, I can upgrade you. Let's go. What's up, real gamer cow? Thank you for the 15. I need five. I need five level twos. What's up, Del Resin? This is the new run, real gamer cow. Thank you for the 15, by the way. So I might try and do like super dense here in that they're, they're not also businesses. You can get, if you make the shape thicker, <laughs> you get uh, double houses instead of houses with shops in them. Actually to that end, maybe all of these will be like pseudo farm plots. I could give us some food variety too, if we don't want to import it all. Maybe I'll do that first. Hey, Scalagrim, thank you so much for using your Prime here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What if I put my castle in a swamp? Delightful. Good morning, doodly do. Hey, good morning, Mama Tats. Joe. 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 Two coffee morning, my love. I'm going to make this militia just so that we start using up all the weapons because they were taking place. They were taking up space, rather, in my storehouse. So now they'll come and grab everything. Very good. Come grab your weapons. All right, the trading post is ready. So if I wanted to, right, I can't shoot. I can't make money without starting money. So I jumped the gun a little bit too quickly. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna rush the trading post so I can start buying and selling stuff. But if you, if you don't have enough money to actually start selling stuff, it does nothing. Sheesh, happen again. Very silly. Okay, I need to get some more houses going here. So I want all of these to be big residential houses with huge lots in the back like this. And then what I can do is I can get all of these people to be farmers. Why can't I build this? Why can't I build that? Not 
Are they too big? Somebody explain to me what's going wrong here. I get rid of this path? I sure can't. Oh my god, the bandit stole my tent, my tools. Oh, that's devastating. Of all the things to take, wow, that honks. I don't know what they're good for, but losing them is probably bad. Look at this picture of lies. Wow, Snurge. Time to kill some bandits. We can't even. I mean, maybe it's too big. The tooltip is not really telling me what's going wrong there. Agan, okay. Thank you so much for using your prime here. Thank you for 23 months. I mean, I kind of just want to do that. So apparently I just had to put a road between it. We'll get our tax money up, and eventually, someday, we'll be able to kill the bandits. Hey, there we go. All right. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to immediately slap this into trade logistics. Trade routes will never cost more than 25, which is huge, because a lot of these, once we got into it, were like 80, 100, whatever. Wait, Besiege is getting a Seize update? Besiege, like that physics game, whatever? Yeah, that one's sick. Isn't that game like 12 years old? So something I can do now... Oh, once we get a little bit of wealth, is we could start turning, um, we could start turning some of these products into like very cool products. Eight years old. That's so cool. Boat physics, y'all. Love me some boat physics. So I have my, oh, I need two more. Two more level two houses. And then we become a medium village. Six percent approval rate. Oh my god. He's popping off. Like, look at this. I'm actually just growing. We're almost at the exact same point where we're at the, at the end of the six hour stream last time. This is what a little bit of knowledge gets you in a game like this, right? Feels good. Year two, we're going to start some agriculture. We're going to start putting some fields over this way. But you need a farmhouse and farmers. It's, it turns out agriculture is actually pretty labor intensive. I about to say winter's approaching. Maybe I'm supposed to throw down like... One more person on this. Yeah, let's do that just so we can grab as many of the, ber the berries as possible before they all wilt 
stockpile it a bit, you know? Because the berries aren't going to be back until, like, February. You love how the trees wobble during the storm? It's a nice detail, yeah. I didn't even notice that. New families moved in. Love to see it. I got that other house up just in time. So the first starting money we have, we're obviously going to invest into trade. Man, hides are not cheap. $24 reduce? I mean, I guess I could start selling. Ah, they only sell for $1? Sheesh. Berries, right. 18 bucks. start selling berries. That's a secret tech. Second uh, little bit of money we have, we're going to turn these into local farms. So they produce vegetables for a little bit more food variety. All right, those two more tier two houses will let us get a little bit more tax income and upgrade to the next tier, which is huge. Reject agriculture, embrace hunting and gathering. <laughs> Gotta return to your roots. My pantry is full. That's just not true. Wait, is it true? Oh, interesting. The forger hut has an internal pantry. I see now. So I need somebody to work at the granary to go and actually grab that stuff. People suffering from disease may stop working. Access to herbs may help. Wait, I've never seen my order drop. Lack of an admin building. Interesting. How goes the feudalism, my liege? Very good. <laughs> All right, so I should build my manor is what I'm hearing. And we said we we're going to build it hereabouts. What are you unhappy about? What are you unhappy about? How do you already have a thumbs down? You're under construction. <laughs> Good morning, Andre. Brand new game. Yeah, we started over because I could do better and I am doing better as a, you know, as a result of that decision. So apparently I'm supposed to make this the highest priority. I think that's the only construction project I have right now. Oh, I guess I am upgrading a couple of these still. Maybe they're unhappy because they hit their thumb during construction. Fair. Suddenly they're happy. It's because their thumb healed. <laughs>
Two things I realized I haven't done in a very long time. I guess this is being an adult. I haven't really like, I haven't scraped my shin in a long time, you know? <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, I'd just be bleeding constantly. Glad that stopped. Yeah, haven't slammed my finger into any doors or anything either. God, getting older is awesome. <laughs> Looks like there's a little bit of a desire path forming this way too, which is interesting. Why would you put that in the world? You know the world is coming for your shin now. Yeah, but I stopped playing like soccer and rugby too. Instead of bleeding shins, I have aching knees. Hey, good morning, Zed. I mean, speaking of aching knees, something I do specifically to try not have aching knees. I do 20 squats every morning while I wait for the shower to warm up. Huh? Not bad. I'm proud of me for that. All right. $13 is not enough to open up the berry trade, is it? 18 bucks. All right. Nearly 40. Accidentally banged my finger when I rolled up the car window with my finger outside of it. Oh, yikes. Hey, good morning, three cats. Good to see you, friend. Managed to badly scratch my ankle, taking off the socks, your fingernails too long? Like, <laughs> how did we do this? All oh, this is exciting. The seasonal allergies are starting to kick in. So here's an interesting question. It's winter right now. Should I start? <clears throat> so winter lasts until February. Sheep shearing is forbidden in the winter. Wow. I think I'm gonna try and get farming going. If I get one more person and we finish the manor, by February, <clears throat> I'm going to build a farmhouse and I'm going to try and get some farms going. Sheep get cold without a coat. What if you bring them inside? God, the bandits. 14 leather stolen? Man. These bandits are out of control. What if the sheep died? <laughs> it's morbid. No, then you go to jail for allowing a sheep to die. It's a precious resource after all. I have a lot of construction right now. We have eight months of food to get us through the winter though, which is promising. Turns out maybe the perk that allows you to get passive meat when you when you can't hunt anymore because you don't want to hunt to extinction is a good call. Moving up here to a rich animal deposit might be kind of legit too. It's a shame you don't get to pick your starting resources, right? Like every resource has one or two rich sources. And like, I'd have picked this one in a heartbeat. Rich berry and rich animals?
passive meat has a lot of unpleasant connotations. No. I don't understand the problem. Yo, I have five people working on construction. I guess they have to walk all the way out here to make the Manor's Lord, the, ma the Manor Lord's Mansion. All right, maybe that's fair. Hey, good morning, the AN map. Good to see ya. Goodbye forever, Joe. Still just December. Looks like the Manor Lord, the Manor is going to get finished. The Manor from which I Lord from. There we go. Oh, right. I bring retainers when they show up too, which is kind of sick. <laughs> I don't know who wrote that SAS plan, but it's very good. All right, so I have access to policies now too, right? You know, I'm about to get an agriculture and I was like, I'll just take the hunting grounds perk. Whatever. Maybe no policy is for us. Okay, so that's done. Wait for the houses to get done. New families joined. Amazing. Oh, no, no, no. That's just somebody hanging out. All right. So if I wanted to get into the agriculture business over here, look at this. Look at this. Barley, flax. Emmer, flax, barley, rye. Oh, this is some good fields. Sorry, who is Morgan? What? How many Morgans should I be aiming for? Is 0.8 Morgan a good amount of Morgans? Morgan was a unit of measurement of land in Germany, the Netherlands, Poland, Lithuania, and parts of the Dutch Overseas Empire. The size of Morgan ranges from half to two and a half acres. It was also used in Old Prussia, the Balkans, Norway, Denmark, and was equal to about two thirds acres. Interesting. It also means morning. So hold on. This is another data point that maybe. That maybe this is in Germany, even though I keep being told this is England. All right, real quick, real quick check in, y'all. Is this actually Germany? <laughs> I thought I heard on good authority that this was actually an English game. Nine? Now nah, I'm just confused. Right, because burgage is a British term. Right. You think it's just Europe? <laughs> it is inspired by 14th century Franconia, which despite the name is in Germany. 
Oh, this is a real place in Germany. Mr. No No? Oak Chop? It's set in ye oldie world. Oh, Eich now is a real place. Eichen how is not. Sorry. I'm gonna be honest, my eyes glazed over that extra H. Yours has one additional H. That's how you know it's fantasy. Are we going to get this done in time for the thaw? I would love to get these fields. All right, hold on. I'm supposed to select stuff. So let's go wheat. Barley. And then you're going to go barley, wheat. And then you're going to stay fallow. Oh, geez. You're going to stay fallow, but then you're going to go wheat, barley. And now we've already got a three-year crop rotation set up. Right? Forconia still exists as a region incorporated into Bavaria, but for Forconians get mad if you call them Bavarians. Interesting. Crop rotation is always supposed to find dark depths or thespian stage. The best dark depths, pardon me, the best crop rotations. Oof. The best feeling crop rotation is either for Glacial Chasm or Bajuka Bog. I will not answer any further questions. <laughs> also have you ever read Knight of the Reliquary god that card's unfair I think this is going to be more houses What kind of beer do Forconians drink? What kind of beer do Forconians drink? I don't know if I'm getting set up for a joke or not. Yeah, I don't know, my dude. <laughs> do you like the mix of organic roads and very straight roads we have? It kind of makes me happy if I'm honest. Oh, you, it was a question. Oh. <laughs> We're going to get there. It's close. One of the other things I'm doing this time is I'm really spreading out as well, which I think is good. I was kind of worried about how far people had to move for stuff before. Construction is done. Amazing. Okay. So as soon as we hit February, we give that three staff. Now let's finish upgrading all the houses. How goes the story of ice and snow? Delightful. Thank you.
Okay, let's move the logging camp now. I keep trying to move the logging camp a little bit closer to the forest. I don't know if that's more efficient or not, or if they'll just walk anywhere. But my thought is maybe they walk it back to the starting position, so I don't love that. Uh, let's start tithing the church here. And I don't think we're making enough money. Oh, right. I can sell berries shortly. Uh, I probably don't want to do it yet, but I can. Let's start that in the spring. When I actually start harvesting it again. You know what? I'm going to put three families in here right now. If a field is not set to fallow, workers will plow it and sow it as soon as possible. Yield will increase as it grows and is harvested in September. Okay. Is this birds? Kaka! Wow. Excellent birds. Okay, another thing I have to upgrade is actually going to be this building too. It's February. Do you know ridge and furrow, furrow planting yet? No. What do those mean? very pretty by the way all right so the berry trade is going to cost us x dollars berries are going to cost us 18 which means we have 11 which means i cannot yet no i need a little bit more what's up pink floyd yes is this still all under construction how Okay, I need to finish this construction. I've queued up too much construction at once, so let's let's just be aware that I need to pump the brakes a little here. Oh, you know what I think it is? I think the ox is a really big limiter right now. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, there's one is done. I mean, I could order another ox. I got the money for it. No, 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 this is fine. We'll just pump the brakes a little. So there's a planting technique where you can put a tall boy on the ridge like a grain and a wide boy in the furrows like a pea to protect soil moisture and nutrients. So this is sort of like an advanced farming technique. Rather than crop rotation, you do sort of like diverse crops. <clears throat> Resources stolen by bandits. My two meat. It's very upsetting. How dare they? So the problem with policies available, message flashing over and over, is I don't actually want to use either of those policies. They both seem just actively bad. It's neat that they exist. No thank you. 
All right, I guess I don't actually start doing anything related to agriculture until March, which is very interesting. You know, you're poor when the bandits only steal two meat. They're like, hey, I actually uh, feel kind of bad about this. Here's your meat back. You need this more than I do. Yeah, I desperately need another ox. But I can't queue up any more construction right now. A third bandit camp. Wow, lucky. One minor quality of life improvement I would love to see on this game. I really wish when I unpaused the game that it would uh, return to the same speed I had it before I unpaused it. You know what I mean? Hey, there we go. We've leveled up again. Raiders nearby. Track their movements. We're going to get attacked in 365 days. I have another point here. So, foreign supplies. A permanent market stall which provides enough passive income of firewood. As long as the region has enough regional wealth. I don't know what that means, though. Region does not pay the transport fee. Must be built on the marketplace. Like, I don't know what this means. A permanent market stall which presides a passive income of bread. So I'm like really tempted to grab this because it gives me free bread, which I don't have. We're like a ways away from that ourselves. So it's either foreign supplies for food. I mean, here, actually, you know what? Let's test it, right? What does this do? Literally no reason not to try it, right? Actually, give me a second. Uh, before we try it, we're gonna take a short bio break. I really have to pee. I will be right back, friends.
You know, one sec, I'm going to fill up my water too. Hello! I return and I see that Mischievous Catgeist has gifted a sub to Mr. Nono. -No. Thank you very, very much. And an anonymous friend has gifted a sub to Patrick Stonecrusher. Thank you, everybody. All right, let's keep going. So, you can't see it. Oh, you can see it because I moved the camera up. We're going to be attacked in 365 days. So there's some neat stuff that we've learned here. One, we've learned that if we have an open house, we will get one new person every single month, which is kind of neat. Two, uh, more people is good. We want to grow our population as quickly as possible. So we kind of always want to be really aggressively uh, pre-building houses. Uh, so to that end, let's divide up this lot. Let's get some more houses in here. I want these houses to be facing this direction. So these are, what if I rotate them? So if you do it that way, it's one double house. If I do it this way, okay, that's fine. That's some fine density. I have to get those logs out of the way. Oh, I didn't want to queue up any more construction. Oh, buckets. Okay, I got enough money now. Let's get our first backyard farmer going here. Need to get those vegetables. I queued up more construction. I need to stop it. Oh, right, 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 right. And I was also going to try out this. Foreign supplies. So does that mean I get to make the market stalls myself? Food car, no construction cost. Food cart. Abandoned. And then things just magically show up. Oh my god. Oh my god, that cost me so money. So much money. How often is that going to cost me money? Because I cannot afford that. Nope. Wow, that's absurd. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Four bread is cheaper than I can import it, right? So importing bread from this is going to cost us 14. So it does get around the import tariff price, but I need this money. Okay, I'm gonna reload. <laughs> what does this do? Apparently it bankrupts us. So let's do a little, uh, a little, uh, nope. All right, so we're not gonna take that. Instead, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take free meat. What do you think? The other thing we can do is we can remove the better deals and start importing food better. No, we're not ready there. I'm going to take free meat. I took free meat last time. I could also take apiaries. Hey, good morning, Max. No, I need, I need more meat.
Didn't realize the subathon was still going. It's a pleasant surprise to me as well, Electric Claire. Ah, <gasps> my love. Hey, everybody. Joe just brought some uh, some more coffee to me, and I'm so in love. Time for bees. I decided to take the free meat. I just need more food variety with the same amount of effort that I'm putting in, and that's that seems good to me. Are the locked options not yet in the version of the game or locked behind other stuff? Uh, a lot of the stuff just isn't in the game yet. So policies, for example, locked in early access work in progress, right? So this is a, this is a pre, pre, this is even a pre early access version. The public early access doesn't even start until I think April 26th. All right. Family members joined. We're up to 58 population, which is wild. All right, I just need to wait for this construction to end. Stop queuing up so much construction, Jaeger. And then we can keep going. Hey, Stiz. Thank you very, very much for that gift sub. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. All oh, right, and I forgot. I uh, I paid for this one before the reload. Vegetable garden. Goblin slide. Thank you for using your prime. Spend that Bezos money. Am I right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Did I... Good. The rotation's ready to go. Wait, hold on. It's March. It's supposed to be spring now. Which means they should be... Ah, oh, they are. They're breaking ground. Look at them go. Maybe I want... Maybe I want two families per field. Maybe this is a four-family kind of activity. I have no idea if, if this is the sort of thing that I'm supposed to micro or not. I don't know. Did I move back? I did. This is our new place in Victoria. Hey, White Fire. Thank you for the prime. Enjoy your new bean. Had to make sure you had time to save the world. Thank you, Stiz. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes on our fine <laughs> it's March. It's supposed to be spring. Spent the last month repeating beneath a pile of, of thick sweaters. Yeah, no kidding. All right, so all the construction is done. Yes, the logging camp is back on the menu. Great. So let's get some new houses going now so we can get ready and welcome new friends in. Here, here, here. There. So if I reduce the density, I can get one double house there. What if I do two? Two double houses? It's literally the same, isn't it? No. It's kind of like this variety. There we go. So another thing that I want to do is I want to... How much does the bow cost? I want to get a boyer going. Because turns out in medieval times, bow and arrow is kind of OP OP. And then I got all this leather, right? Don't I? I got all this leather, right? Let's get some shoes. Time for a cobbler. <laughs> the berries back yet? Yeah. Yes. Oh, unassigned families needed for construction. Heck. Right. Shoot. Right. 
Sheesh. Right. <laughs> Morning, Lilith. There we go. Artisanal workshops. Oh, right. I made two new artisanal workshops, which means I lost two laborers. I forgot about that. Some goals covering part of the menu. Uh, I can move that. Hello? Can I not move that? Ooh. There. Now you can see uh, the labor and unassigned stuff that we have. All right, let's try and get that population up, shall we? Ooh, look at this. See, that is the uh, the new baked goods, baked goods, vegetable gardens that we're growing in the back of this house. Okay, now more people can start moving in. You love snow? I guess you'd survive. I had a really good time skiing in Alberta all winter. It was actually kind of delightful, you know? The snow wasn't too bad or too scary. I love this village design we're going here with the, uh, the marketplace down the middle. I wonder if I can keep that going. Cross country with our mountains. When I was in Alberta, downhill skiing. Extreme. No, I was just resort skiing. <laughs> what are you complaining about? My generic storage is full. Yes, you always complain. Anyone else? What are you complaining about? Is my goats full? You seem fine. I like the cold, but I don't like snow, which is why I live in southern Sweden. Interesting. How are we doing over here? So now we are... Seeding the fields. So like, I guess once that's done, I guess especially because my population is so low, I just say like, all right, time to get you out there and then I return them in the fall. Y'all agree with that? Yo, Milk, you got Manor Lords early access, early, early access? Yeah, dude, you had, man, I was hyping this up so much. I have never stared so hard at an embargo email before being like, okay, when is the earliest I can talk about this? Because <laughs> I was so hyped for this, man. This game is incredible. It's like, obviously still pretty early and it's just going to get better. Bandits! Gah! They'll pay. Everything they've taken will make them pay back tenfold. Looks like banished, but more polished. I mean, you nailed it. All right, hurry up and finish with those fields. All right, they look like they're done here, which is great. Hold on, let's just double check that. 
So if they're done, hold on. So if this is done and this is just growing, pull everybody out of the farmhouse. Now, actually, here's an interesting question. Do you think they're smart enough that they, that they like find other work to do in the meantime? Okay, I got double people on the forager. That's probably fine. So the dev was solo until uh, he got a deal with Xbox and then hired a whole team. I mean, fair. I would also hire a whole team if I got Xbox money, you know? All right, let's get more log chop chop. Uh, what I need now is people specifically to work here and here. Your brain can only think Slay the Spire 2? God, I wish. That's probably like a 2025 title. You know what? I can get a third person on berries. When this game releases, I'll have to study medieval village layouts. So, I mean, funny you should mention that there is a YouTuber who started streaming really recently called City Planner Plays who is literally a like professional city planner and he's been playing and making content for this game as well. So, oh, you follow him? Well, that's flattering. Oh my God. You also follow me? What does that say about me? <laughs> Absolutely nothing, Jaeger. <laughs> I'd like to expand these living spaces. Get a little bit of density. You're a great city builder. I'd like to think I'm a medium city builder, but I'm an okay storyteller. The Venn diagram of CPP and Sir Jager is a big circle with a much smaller circle inside of it. <laughs> you could say I'm like a sunspot compared, right? <laughs> no, we started over, Jessica. Wanted to see if we took all the knowledge of our previous playthrough and then could we execute on something even better? Aren't you also a CPP? A coffee person plays? Hey. <laughs> You have a skewed idea of how good people are at city builders. You're definitely a good one at minimum. Oh, shucks. Y'all y'all are just saying that. You, I bet you say that to all the streamers you watch. Have we demonstrated a loop yet? Constantly. All right, I will admit that James is pretty bad at it. All right, fair. What if we increase the density? Oh, I love that. Hey, what's up, Arc Like? Arc Light. Arc Like. <laughs> you have a clone, and the clone is Arc Like. <laughs> All right, it's time to move this. And then I need to upgrade it. And I probably need to make a second one, if I'm honest, actually. Uh, do I have enough money for another hitcher? Another hitch and post. Can I fit it here? Oh, that upsets me. What's CPP? CPP stands for City Planner Plays. That's the uh, the YouTube channel we were just talking about. All right, August we reassign the farmers. Gentle reminder, if you got a prime, if you got a resub, you want to see this number go up. You know, the ways that you could make the timer go up without spending money. I was excited for City's two videos, but turns out the game is not well cooked. Honestly, his uh, Magnolia County video series, even with City's two, was great. Oh no! All right, hold on. Walderbrand is being claimed. Which one is that? Walderbrand, Walderbrand, Walderbrand is right there. 
So the other Lord is looking to grab this territory. I think that's okay because I'm happy to grab this territory. Wait, oh, we've got some mercenaries over here. So Buddy hired 71 people to go and start clearing some bandits, which, you know, fair enough. I don't threaten chat help chat. I've learned how cute Gunner is. Oh. Man, Snurge is fight is fighting, pardon me. Snurge is flirting with Gunner again. So I do not have the means with which to resolve or uh contest this territorial claim. So you know. Waldbrand stands for, stands for, pardon me, translates to forest fire in German. And I don't know why anyone would want that region. Because, you see, after a forest fire, the land becomes extra fertile. Good for agriculture. Dabs. Checkmate. Certain plants can only grow after a forest fire, such as new pine cones. Yep. That's only true in some places. Oh. Not on the coast where we live now. I mean, we have learned increasingly that forest fires are an important part of the ecosystem. Controlled burns are a good thing. But yeah. It's obviously much more complicated than that. The raiders are nearby. Is that something we should worry about? Ah, we got 289 days. Yeah, it's fine. All right. I need to upgrade this. I don't have any planks. I had, don't have any planks. A little bit of wildfire is good. Not when the whole province is on fire. Yes. <laughs> so I once again rushed a trading post. And I, I feel like that was bad. Man... Can you make the militia? Again, uh, th this is something that came up a lot last time too. I'm not going to do anything military-wise for like another 100 days. Mil military stuff is extremely expensive. Not really worth it for the time being. So we're just going to we're just gonna cool it on that, you know? You need big, big money. Now, on the other hand, I did start making some war bows. Ooh, I could sell my excess war bows. So actually, hold on. Let's get a archer militia. And then let's make sure they're all armed. And then once I've got that done, I can start selling my excess war bows. So the way the militia works is uh, every man, women are not allowed to fight apparently, every man in your city, in your village, town in our large village can be called settlement can be called into joining the militia uh hamlet lordship perfect so what you do is you put this down so you see we have access to a total of 72 people and we have enough weapons to give 20 of them spears and currently 19 of them bows so we have access to a total of 56 soldierinos. Am I able to make a sports arena? Not yet. I don't know if we've invented soccer, unfortunately. What's our total population? You can see it at the top there. 65. Somehow we have two men for every lady in this town. I'm sure that's a healthy ratio. And totally realistic. So it's a total population of 65 with 20, pardon me, with 20 families. Two men, two furious. <laughs> exactly that, yes. Okay, we have a second ox now. 
And I got enough berries that I could start selling some berries. So let's let's get that cooking. Trade. I'd like to unlock the trade route. And I want to export berries. And I want to have 100 berries. So now we have a little bit of trade going. So last time we absolutely slayed the bandits when they showed up, but we also had a little bit more economy going. But we've also got 170 days until I even start worrying about it, you know? All right, we've got room for six more families to join us. Just want to see if I can make... So this is really interesting. Uh, if a plot is large enough, you can actually upgrade it to put a second house on it, in which case a second family can join. Uh, so all of these have been sized so that we could have farms in the background, get a little bit more food diversity with some veggies. And then these smaller ones here have been set up to do businesses. So for example, this one is a cobbler. Uh, this one is currently a fletcher. So this is going to be industry stuff. These are animals now, but they don't necessarily have to be. We'll see. Do you know about lowering the amount of houses to create in a zone? The plus and minus for density? What's up, Lau? I think I do milk. I think that's what I did here. Tell me your thoughts and I'll tell you if I already knew that or not milk. <laughs> Having houses with an add-on is better than a single house per plot. Yes, absolutely. So these have been zoned to have two houses and an add-on, for example. Now, one thing that's really frustrating is if you have supplies just sitting here like this, you can't actually build on top of them, which is infuriating. I don't understand why that is. So this beautiful prime real estate right here cannot be developed until these logs are moved, even though the logs are necessary for the construction. <laughs> You can change the priority of the supplies? Oh, sure can't. Can't change the priority. And I also cannot even order them to be moved. Uh, they just, until there's room or labor or gets to it, nothing. Alright, how are we doing? Six months of food, four months of fuel. Have we made big cash money yet? Maybe? I have 115 berries. I have $36 dues. Alright, oh, that means I can do this now. Vegetables. Vegetables, even though nobody's living in this house. So we're going to invest all of this money into turning uh, these into vegetables. You have to finish your current... Crusader Kings 3 run before that. Oh, look at that. Man, we up to 9 bucks now. Let's go. Good morning, Cookie Mom. Alright, what do you think our next goal should be? We want to grow their population a little bit, especially before August, so that we can turn everybody over here and harvest these fields. Wait, hold on. Uh, I'm getting barley and I'm getting wheat, which can be turned into flour and ale. We're making a tavern, y'all. <laughs> How's my chop chop doing? Great. So this was all forest when we started. So, the, oh, there we go. Now is our big money. So the goal is to clear all of this because presumably the bandits are going to come and attack us this way. And we want our archers to be able to clear it. So we're prioritizing removing this forest and then we can keep this for later. Do I have a granary space for the winter? Yes. You can see I have uh, six months of food. Actually, the issue seems to be firewood. But this is one of the games that instead of just a number of food, it also breaks it down into how many months of food do you have? But yeah, let's get our people. Uh, let's go with a tavern 
and a, a tavern, a bakery, and a windmill are the three things that we probably need. So the people just joining, one of the mechanics that's really cool is if you have an open house, every month, one new family will move in. So we're always trying to make sure that we've got uh, space so that we can continuously grow. Because it doesn't, like, births don't seem to be a thing in this game. It seems to only be immigration. Maybe births are just long-term. So we played for a full year in our first playthrough before we restarted. Oh, uh, do we have enough excess bows yet? No. But I could probably set up that trade route now while I have the money before I forget. So war bows are going to be exported and we want to say, let's have five excess. Uh, but otherwise, we can start exporting any of our bows. Aren't I playing on a time scale of days and weeks? Every day, every day-night cycle that you see is one month. Oh, there we go. We can finally build here. So, let's see. Uh, so apparently only one house can go here. That's bad. I hate that. What if I go this way? Plot is too small. What do you mean the plot is too small? Okay, now it's four. Okay. It's three facing this direction. Ooh, there we go. I really wanted some more density here, so I love this being four houses. And the shops here mean, uh, I want this to be sort of my tier two, tier three houses. So let's build that. The Raiders are near. Oh, I got 21 shoes. I could also be selling shoes. I've got $76 redos. So one of the perks that we took was the ability to establish trade routes for only $25. Uh, let's also just hold on to five shoes so that we could basically scale our money as much as possible. So now let's set up a... 5% tax. So once we start getting money, we can tax the money. We can use that to start hiring mercenaries to fight the bandits who are going to attack us in 228 days. I'm assuming the shoes are pairs of shoes for what it's worth. <laughs> but you never know. So hopefully we get a huge harvest here. All right, and then once all the construction is done, in August, we should have three families, and we're going to have three families for the harvest. Oh, these are right shoes only. Me, the lord, looking at my feet, only wearing one shoe. The peasant, I'm sorry, my lord. I only know how to make the right shoe. That's my peasant voice. My cousin Ernie, over in the next hamlet, he makes the left shoe. <laughs> well, quite the pair, him and I. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, we're rich. I never played Stronghold, no. Wait, that's just Beach? Oh. <laughs> we're soulmates, him and I. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> Soul? <laughs> oh, that's so bad. <laughs> What up, happy pants? <laughs> Yo! Uh, you ever tell a joke so bad somebody has to give 
uh, gift subs to change the subject. Thank you, the Alrad, for the five bomb. I really appreciate that, friend. All right. As soon as we hit August, everyone's going to start focusing on, on on harvesting. Right? Wait, no? Harvesting, plowing, and sowing of crops. September to November. Okay. <laughs> I was going to let you go free, but that bad joke deserves more stream jail. Ah. Ooh, I can make more density here too? Sure, let's go. Wait. Oh, I upgraded that to level 2. Sure. Alright, whatever. So what do I need for that? I need to get some level three houses. Okay. So for level three houses, we need to get this first harvest done. Maybe I'll do two seasons before we start worrying about... Like, how much is one harvest going to be here? A yield of 37? Like, that's not very much yield, right? Maybe this is too small. Maybe these fields are supposed to be like... <laughs> what do you think? Are these fields too baby? Now, when I, when I look at it from this scale, that's not a lot of field. So one thing I can't do, which kind of bums me out, is I can't... I mean, I can demolish this field, and I can do a bigger one. Let's try a bigger one for next season. All right, we're going to do that. And then I think what we're going to do is after we harvest, I'm actually going to destroy both of these fields and then just make a bigger one. Hey, Felidar Sovereign, 24 months gets you a diamond bean. Thank you so much for the two years of support, friend. That means a lot. Do you think that looks more like the size of a field we'd have? Do I not have enough? Do I not have enough labor for that? I just don't know. Hey, we can get ox technology later and let them plow with the oxen. All right. Uh, it's also time to start upgrading these. Speaking of oxen. So I don't know what I actually need. Maybe I need to be a large village to get my next point. But we can get another point later on. And we can put it into uh, ox plow. Heavy plow. New upgrade at a plowing station. Enables employing oxen at the farmhouse for significantly faster plowing fields. So, you know. Something we can look into in the future. Small stable has been upgraded. So let's get ourselves another ox. Search, my calculations are correct. Given the max of 12 hours a day, if you were to get 10,000 subs, this, it will last forever. I, It's capped. It's capped at 60 hours. I'll die. There's a development tree? Oh, yeah, milk. Look at this. So this is the development tree. You can go into trade, agriculture, hunting and gathering, or like military and production. And then there's also policies, but most of these are, they're not developed yet. They're not implemented yet. And then there's also production tab, and I don't know what that means. So yeah, this is a very early access version, but it looks incredible. Then we've got the map mode with the territorial conquest where we can like write letters and like talk smack and stuff like that. Uh, later on, you can do like, this is funny, surprise war, negotiation. Uh, the territorial claims you could do with influence or the king's favor, which hasn't been implemented yet either. Like, this game looks like it has a lot. Also, look at this. Look at the map view. You can see that they've penciled in. Look at, I, like, this detail is so good. There's no icon for our city. They just draw it on the map. Cool. 
<laughs> hey, Cross at least soon. Thank you so much for using your Prime here. Thank you for the six months. Happy belated, looking quite dapper for my age. Oh, thank you. Can you believe I'm only 18? God, streaming ages you quickly. <laughs> Anyways, as soon as this is being done and we've hired another oxen, I'll send everybody over. There's a way to scout off of the map. So I believe the reason it's limited to nine territories or whatever, eight territories, is this is also the victory condition. Like, if you end up conquering all of these, uh, this opponent doesn't build on the map. They're off, but they, like, fight you for territorial control. That's a victory condition or whatever. Anyways. Let's get this done. Let's get another ox. Trader available in 25 days. Oh, I can't rush that ox. All right. Uh, everyone get over here and get ready for the harvest. Uh, am I doing any more construction right now? If not, then I'm going to put all three families over here. I only wish the distances were at scale, but I understand it's a video game and I can't render kilometers of territory. I mean, it's still big, right? Like... That's still a really big map. The enemy village is three kilometers away. What do you mean? Like this? No unassigned families to guide the ox. Oh, that is a problem. Okay, I do need I do need an ox gatherer. Don't you have opponents in this scenario? Yes, but they are off the map, sort of by design. There's a raiding group. So there's two types of enemies. There is the opponent, which doesn't actually show up on the map. They're off map, but they only fight you for territory. Like they don't have a city that you siege. And there are bandit camps. No, 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 no. Yeah, you don't actually ever see them. Uh, they are deliberately not on the map, but they just fight you for territory. So they'll send in armies and mercenaries, but you don't, like, burn down their city. Yeah, maybe they'll add that later. And then you have bandit camps, which are literally just camps. There's just some dudes who are hanging out. Daniel, thank you so much for the five bomb. I really appreciate that, friend. What are the blue icons? Uh, those are trade routes. So traders will come from there. Uh, these are called the King's Roads, which is interesting as well. So the first time I tried to build my trading post, uh, because I built it inside of my town and not on the King's Road, the merchants were like, no. <laughs> we will not trade with you, sa, <laughs> or whatever. Such snooty merchants. I mean, look, if the king decrees that all trade routes must be on the king's road, I wouldn't want to say no to the king. Daniel says, I got to run a couple errands and I had to make sure it's still going by the time I get back. Thank you, friend. How do you marry your daughter off to become the queen of Burgundy? Well, you see. Seeing as how my brother's uncle's second cousin's roommate used to be the playmate of the king, that's actually how I got this scenario. It's easier than you'd think. <laughs> is each square a barony or is the whole map a barony? I don't know enough about Middle, e Middle Ages stuff to give you a good answer to that. All right, real quick. I don't know if I have anything to make cloth out of. So the only... I mean, I have hides, but I'm turning the hides into leather and then I'm turning the leather into boots. I do have goats, but the goats are giving me more hides. All right. Maybe we want to invest in some more resources here. Uh, these could all be goat plots. These could be industry. These could be goats. Or I save this for industry and I make these goats. Let's set up another... 
Let us some let's set up some more lots here, shall we? Let's do that. And then this. This will be for goats. I want to make room for some more fields again. And the fields look like they want a lot of room. Let's do this. But I've got 10 extra houses right now, so we'll hold on that. Did we give up on sheep? Sheep was in the previous playthrough. I don't know how I feel about sheep yet. I mean, I could put more, I could just put more goats up here, right? Uh, does anybody live here yet? No. Actually, can I tell? There we go. I have some goats. Let's do two more goats and we'll start getting some chickens going. Get some eggs for a little bit more food variety. Can I get you with eggs? No. Barbara will always be remembered. I mean, we got sheep for days. We got Nickel the goat. And Tommen the goat. Kunrad the goat. Jorg the goat. <clears throat> Anger alert. Alright, so we are harvesting wheat now. That's exciting. And then right, as soon as these are both fully harvested, uh, I'm going to destroy them both. <laughs> I'm going to put in a big field. I wonder if our granary can hold all this. Yeah, it seems fine. Maybe? How much can the farmhouse hold? Oh, it can hold like 1,200. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we fine. What's up, Thunder Heavy Arm? All right, pardon me for a second. I have to pee again. <laughs> I'll be right back.
Hello. <laughs> because the timer was running, you thought I'd left the game on. About to be attacked in 176 days too. All right. So now that we're taxing a little bit, we're filling up our treasury, which means we can also hire mercenaries. A work area is empty. Did I over forage? Ah, buckets. All right. Let's go down to one of these and I can probably stop selling berries now as well. Berries got us cooking with the money, but now I think we're fine. Also, do I have any other commodities? Pardon me. 21 wheat. Man, that feels bad, <laughs> right? We hit this whole field and we got like 21. Whatever, we'll do a, a year or two and then we're also going to, we're also going to clear a much larger space for this. It's enough for like seven loaves of bread. Yeah, feels not great, you know? Do you have enough to upgrade? You don't. Need to get that food variety. We should be getting a huge harvest of vegetables soon, I hope. I mean, it looks like they grabbed all these veggies and it looks like, I mean, I don't I don't see any of those veggies up here right now. Maybe they all got eaten. Do I have a miller? I don't yet, because I don't think this is enough to bother with. You know what? Having three people on this and having it run out just as the season crosses over, I don't think it's too bad, actually. All right. Might be time to start looking into clay shortly because then we can get the uh, the wooden church upgraded to tier two. And I'll remember to fire the family <laughs> before we get started so they don't try and sabotage everything again. Chicken, goat, goat. Right, I didn't have any people living here, which is why I didn't do anything there. We'll do goat, goat there as well. So am I not selling these bows? Like what's happening here? Is nobody coming for them? Export. Yeah, I should be getting a couple hundred dollar dues shortly. Next time the trader stops by. So we got four months of food. Oh, look at that. We got and vegetable. Sheesh. That's it. All of these gave us one veg, huh? All right. So when we defeated the bandits last time, so it feels like, okay, let me, let me try this again. Ooh, another army's, another ruler's army was spotted. Yeah, so they hired some brigands and some archers to go and clear some bandits. That's fine. So if the same course as last time happens, that's weird English, then what should happen is I should get a thousand points when we defeat the, uh, the people attacking us. And I'm going to try and claim this and see what happens. They're going to steal our XP. It's fine. It's fine. I don't really have the means to take it right now anyways. I think I'm actually really disappointed that I got one vegetable from all of that. Oh. I had this big plan. I was going to invest heavily in all of these backyard gardens and then everyone was going to clap and we're going to have all of this food 
diversity and they're like, enjoy one vegetable. <laughs> here, here is a patat. <laughs> here is a patat, my lord. All right, we want big field. We want big field. Right? Wait, why is it, is it too big? Why are, are, why are you too big? What am I doing wrong? Somebody explain to me What's happening here? Why can't I farm? Okay. Wheat, barley, barley, fallow, wheat. Maybe it's because there was just a field there. Let a season go by. It's fine. I want to have, I only want to have two going anyways. So, you know. All right. Uh, let's get another wood chop chop going for the winter. I got six extra people. Let's get you chop chopping. Uh, let's get the quarry going. Let's get some clay. Oh, you got to get right up in there. Interesting. Are trees a problem? I don't know. Does the game give you benefit for crop rotation or penalty for not doing so? It does seem to imply that uh, fallow fields regenerate, sorry. Uh, fallow fields regenerate all types of fertility but have no yield. So it does seem that it gets bad over time. The family has moved in, great. Don't you want to follow every other year and keep a single kind of crop? Um, I don't know. It gives me a three-year rotation, so I thought I'd just rotato through stuff. So, like, Farthest Frontier trained me on these, like, sort of three-year cycles, and just what you do is you just have three different fields, and it works. I got this terrible feeling, like, maybe I'm never going to be able to build on this again, which would make me very sad, because I want that to be farmland.
All right, so my fuel is going to get fixed because I did hire another chop chop, which is good. Work area is empty. The forager hut. You know, you're right. Uh, we are going to want a clay furnace. Pretty quick here. I'll put it next to the tannery. I could probably stop it with the saw pit now. Man. This is one of these buildings that'd be kind of cool if I could set um, a maximum amount because I don't want to turn all of my timber into planks, for example. And yet here we are. Another ruler's army was sighted. So yeah, I, my assumption is they're just going and cleaning up bandits. Like they haven't declared war on me, so I think we're safe to just ignore them. Flappy birthday. Thank you very much, Anubis. I mean, the other thing I could do, Milk, is I could just focus on one crop type, right? I could just say, like, nah. Hold on, wh where, where, did, where did all my wheat go, chat? Did me destroying the field destroy all of the wheat that we harvested? And I only have barley now? Are my people eating raw wheat? Oh, there we have grain. How did you turn it into grain? How you make grain? Do we not actually harvest wheat? No, wheat is there. I don't have a mill. So hold on, who makes a bakery? So windmill, oh, a windmill turns grain into flour. Works most efficiently on empty land unobstructed by buildings or trees. So they haven't actually added it yet, but there is a... Nope, I was going to say, there is a wind thing. So I'm going to put it right here. With the assumption that later on I can put a huge field there. Isn't harvested wheat just grain? But then why can I... Hold on. Then why is there a wheat column under crops, right? Wheat, flax, barley, rye, dung, fertilizer. So I'd be down. I'd agree with y'all if you said, yeah, all you have is grains. But then why is wheat something I can collect? Maybe that's the amount that's in the ground. That's interesting. Maybe. Winter is approaching. You're supposed to stop hunting at 10. Getting down to 7 makes me nervous. <gasps> the mining pit is ready. $40 reduce. Thank you. Okay, we've got room for another seven families to move in. Good stuff. How's the old army looking? Got 66 able-bodied men ready to fight and die. I hope they fight and win. I mean, me too, actually. You think the farmers put the wheat on the ground and then thresh it into grain? That'd be kind of cool. All right, do you think the game is smart enough now that I can plant this crop? Or will I continue to be sad? Ow. 
Ah. <sighs> Plot points four to four. No, that's literally just how many corners you put down. See, two out of four, three out of four. It's just counting my mouse clicks. Yeah. No, I think it's because I had fields here. Like, hold on. If I do it outside of that specific area. Literally just because I had a farm there in the past. Save and reload. Let's try that. Sometimes you just got to turn it on and off again. There's like one sack of wheat lying on the ground. Oh, right. Remember we couldn't build stuff and there's like a log. I mean, again, again, I'm going to give this game so much credit and so much um what's the other word i'm looking for oh the fields are gone flack i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give it extra whatever wait the the bandit attack is gone good news everybody turning it on and off again worked <laughs> all right hold on uh wheat barley off fallow wheat barley Wheat, barley, off. Wheat, barley, off. Barley, wheat, off. Good. Leeway is an excellent word, Camboa. Yeah. Wow, you're under an hour? I've been under an hour for uh, two hours and 45 minutes. <laughs> are there other crops available? Hey, Lau, thank you for the gift sub. Uh, are there other crops available? Yeah, you can get... If you go through farming... Uh, oh wait, irrigation lowers the damage from drought. You can get rye, you can get orchards. You have to go through orchards to get rye. So maybe, so it said the orchards need three years to really get going. Maybe the, um, the vegetable gardens will produce more than a single carrot next year, you know? Oh, speaking of which, has anybody moved in here yet? Yes. Okay. Get some chickens. Give me some eggs. Okay. Nobody lives here yet. You can get barley and rye. Is there brewing? There sure is. One of our next goals is going to be to try and get a pub. The hour is slightly longer. Thank you, Lau. Carrots have a two-year growth cycle, so maybe this year will be better. Maybe this year will be better than the last. That's where my head was at. All right, we only have two months of food. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. Uh, you know what? It might be time to import some berries. Just saying. Let's import some meat as well. You know what? And let's say I... No, definitely not 100. Let's say I want 50 of these and I want 25, 25 of these. I got a little bit of money. Let's get some imports going. Um, yeah. I'd really like my people to not die. I'm just saying. Thank you for streaming this. It's fun. Man, I you should have seen how hype I was when I got the email. <laughs> I was invited to this. Milk. 
Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> My pleasure. You're not one to be excited for early access games? Oh my god. And then on like um, Saturday, I also got to check out Laysara, which just came out in early access, which, oh my god, I'm hyped too. Woo! Hey, Smith, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Lao. Appreciate that, friend. All right, so we sell bows. Yeah, we export the bows and we use that money to purchase minus 300 gold. Oof. -ah. But look at that. Now we're food rich. Saturday was yesterday. <laughs> Thursday then, y'all. <laughs> I'm doing my best. What year is it? Did you move into here? Nice. That means we can get more chickens. I don't have chicken money. Awkward. <laughs> it's the 14th century, my lord. Ah, very good. Carry on. Has Brunhilde sent a letter yet? I worry about her. It's been many nights since we last spoken. <laughs> Spoketh. <laughs> All right, get them chickens. Yo, Mr. Gibberish with the 10 bomb. <laughs> number only go up. No number go down. We're over an hour. Thank you, Mr. Gibberish. And how are we doing here? 300 stone? Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, my God. Happy Pants with the 5 bomb as well. Thank you, friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all. He's got gifted a sub. Throw some good vibes in chat. I really appreciate it. I think there's a problem with my timer. <laughs> I just realized I can't raise funds. Uh, I got time in the spring. Oh, geez. I get attacked in 78 days. The nice thing is, I managed to tax enough money that we could probably hire an okay mercenary band when they show up. My dad remembered the days when you could walk to the grocery store with $2 to get cheese, eggs, lamb, and steak. Now they've got cameras everywhere. <laughs> hey, Gizap, thank you very much for the gift sub. Appreciate that. Little team order there, rounding it off. I see you. <laughs> I wonder why some of my alerts are duplicating. I did restart my computer and try and turn everything on and off. How much is the mercenary band and how much will the raiders take? So when we got attacked on the stream yesterday, it was like, it wasn't much. You know, the large storehouse guy. It was like 20 or 30 bandits somewhere in that, in that ballpark. And then when we put down our militia, we have 27 archers. And then we're probably going to hire a mercenary band of like 30 to 40 archers as well. So yeah, the goal will be, because we don't have a lot of money, the goal will be to hire them when there's like 10 days left. Because <laughs> we can only hire, a, we can only afford about one month of mercenaries, if I'm honest. <laughs> All right, how am I doing for roof tiles? I need, for the upgrade, I need 10. All right. Rare sea cat with the half year, the 50 months? Happy birthday week. The birthday week extravaganza. Thank you. Uh, 
they die, you don't have to pay them. It's true. This game is so cool. Cardinal Wiggles. It's amazing. Hiring mercenaries and running out of money to pay the mercenaries is historically a bad idea. Yeah. Rixian, thank you for the five bomb. Y'all. Thank you. All right. So here's what we're going to do. It's winter time. It's time to upgrade the church. Now, yesterday we ran into a bug where if you don't fire, <laughs> this is so weird. If you don't fire the family that's, that's working the church, construction workers deliver stone. And then the workers say, we didn't order any stone and take the stone and carry it back to the warehouse. So you're stuck in a perpetual loop of your workers delivering <laughs> and removing stone. It's hilarious and kind of infuriating. So you're fired. Let's upgrade the church. Like <laughs> actual Sisyphean. You're not even wrong. It's a good thing we got some commerce going here. Man, they are eating the meat immediately. I love the fact that you can build non-prefabricated houses and that they can have curves. Yeah, it's fun, right? I love that the lot sizes will just bend to fit into a shape. President's Choice Mercenaries. Ah, thank you. I've got the Costco brand mercenaries here. They're the same, except they don't have a different logo. A little bit disappointed they're not buying more of my war bows here. Signature select mercenaries. I mean, we can take a look at who's available right now. Where is it? All right. What are what are our options currently? The Wayward Sons. Like the Wayward Sons. 45 bucks. Ooh, they arrive in the wrong province, though. The Ravenous Vultures. Oh, I can't afford them. Uh-oh. Uh, jeesh. Uh, okay, I can't actually afford anybody who's going to show up in my province. So, if they arrive in Nuzlo, how long is it going to take them to walk here? So, something a little bit spooky there. Alright, I think I need to... I might be in a bit of trouble here, actually. Okay, I need money. I can't afford to import any more food, but we should be fine. <laughs> we should be fine. And then once March hits, we're going to send six families over to work here, by the way, if you're curious. Oh, I didn't actually put anybody in the windmill yet. Where's the clay? 43 clay. All right. You can y'all can cool it on the clay now. I get to see how much clay I have left. Did I exhaust all of the clay? I think I might have actually. I can't move it, huh? Whatever. You punched that chunk? Yeah, maybe. The cheapest ones are only one territory over. Again, we got time. I can't afford to pay mercenaries more than one month. So we have to be like precise <laughs> with when we hire them. Because I don't want them to start fighting the bandits and then just dip, right? All 
Any traveling minstrels we can hire? Not yet, but maybe later. All right, 28. We got four living spaces extra still. That's good. Everybody got the chickens. Chickens or goats? Oh, I put a chickens here too. Well, that's awkward. Right, I guess I could be trying to upgrade more of these. Oh, I don't have enough food variety, huh? Yeah, that's that makes sense. All right, so over here, hey, look at that. We got wow, that that happened so fast. Okay, we got all this flour now. And then, um, how do I make a bakery? Is it a house? Do you make me bread? No, you make me beer though. Y'all, I do have malt. Right? No, I have barley. Do I turn barley into malt? Hold on. Grain into flour. So hold on. I grow barley. Barley can be processed into malt. No. Hmm. Maybe it's under industry. Oh, there it is. Malt house. Workers use barley to malt, which can... Okay, there you go. So, I'll put this... I'll put the malt house right next to the... Uh, right next to the field. Look at that. That's perfect, right? Well, it's weird because they just make the malt and then I still need... It needs to go through three lines of production. Right? We need to go from barley to malt, malt into ale, and then we need to make the pub after all of that, right? All right, 37 days until we get attacked. $119 reduce. We haven't taxed them yet. So we're going to get attacked March 1st, apparently. Then we can get started on the rum. All right, so I got, hold on. I got 10 unassigned people. That seems wrong. That seems bad. Surely there's got to be more work I can do. There is more work you can do, and don't call me Shirley. All right, so the malt house is now finished. Right, I can make a bakery now too. Communal oven. How big is this? Oh, I love putting this here. Right, right beside the market. This is where we put the bakery. Oh. I should make another well as well. Where's the well? There it is. It looks like it'd be in the middle of a spot. Let's put it here. There we go. <clears throat> it's barbecue time. It's interesting to me that the communal oven only costs two logs to make. 
This is something I'd expect to pay like stone or like clay. Running low on food. Well, look, do you want food or do you want mercenaries? <laughs> I need I need meat. It's really expensive to import food, by the way. There's a, a $10 tariff on this. I'm spending a fortune on it. I should import some more meat. So the mercenaries are going to defend us, obviously. And then the goal is to run over and try to hit this bandit camp. And we can claim this province. And then claim their meat and their berries. And uh, I, I never actually got to claim the second province before. Territory or whatever. So I am curious what that is going to do. Is our food bottleneck lack of processing or insufficient fields? Well, these didn't really do much for us previously. So we're just learning. Why don't we simply eat the mercenaries? Cannibalism has typically been frowned upon. I'm just going to throw that one out there. I could start getting more eggs. I can make all of these chickens. And this could be the industry side. No, that feels bad. I want to, I want to keep... I don't want to die. I've got three houses. Are eggs better than goats? Goats give us hide, not meat. So goats give us the ability to make more leather for stuff like shoes that we've been exporting. Make me some ale, my lord. Seems like a waste of goat. I mean, maybe we get meat from it as well, but the tooltip says... The tooltip just says, um... Whatever. Whatever it says. So in our previous game, we had um, a rich source of wild animals, which let us get way more meat, and that's kind of been hurting us. Like, we didn't have to import food previously. Now we do. The communal oven. A new family has moved in. Good, good, good. Uh, all right. This is going to become more houses and ideally more, more chickens. I wonder if actually these are supposed to be rotated so the houses face in that direction, but this is fine. I'm going to have them all kind of face in. You know what? Actually, what if I give them another well of their own right here? And we just wrap the houses around it. I think that'll look cute. All right. So we have 86 flour. So the nice news is the nice news is that grain gets doubled into twice as much flour. 45 grain turned into 90 flour. Oh, geez. Oh, oh no, no, 20 days. Sorry, I got I got really scared for a second. It, it was white on white text. <laughs> I thought I had missed, uh, missed when we were about to get, like, rumbled. <laughs> My heart. <laughs> Do I want to start thinking about the mercenaries now? Again, can't afford two months. Can't Literally cannot afford two months. Now, the bandits also have to walk to us. Uh, so the thing is, we want to wait until March 1st. Because it's going to re-roll the mercenaries we have access to. And then we have to be, we have to be really, really careful with this. 
Because I don't want my peasants to die. I'm going to try and protect our peasants as much as possible. Now we are negative bread meat. We are making bread now, question mark? In theory. All right, I'm going to stop trying to import meat here. Again, a little bit risky, but like, I need the money. I need the money for mercenaries so we don't die. Come one, come all. Feast your all right. Send six families over here to start working all this stuff. Uh, ideally, all of the barley is going to be turned into malt soon. Getting there. Good. I don't know if we exhausted this. I'm going to put one more person in here just to see what happens, what it tells us. Oh, right. I forgot. Um, now that the church has been upgraded, why would I want more people working the church? So we've got a stone church now, which is going to make everybody happy because we've got level two churchage. Can barley accidentally be turned into grain or flour? We'll always go to malt. I don't think this game's going to hurt us. But who knows? I also don't know if people need, like, their own access to water, but, uh, you know, multiple wells seems like a good idea. All right, we get attacked in one day. A band of mercenaries has been spotted. They are walking from the province, the territory of Goldenoff. All right. Time to hire some mercenaries. It is time to rally our army. Where are we? We're here. Hey, what's up, picks? Now, we also want to hire mercenaries. We have the green caps. Oh, this is terrible news. All right, uh, the Wayward Sons are going to arrive in Waldebrand. Where is Waldebrand? Oh, they arrive in their territory. Fascinating. All right. Oh, oh, they're right here. Time for you to hustle. Now, if you've never seen combat before in this game, I also love this. I love this so much. All right, so here's my personal retinue. We got five out of five. Look at this. Look at this. They're armored. They're specialized. They're thriving. That's a very small shield. Here's my militia. And now the bandits are just going to walk at us straight this way. So we've got 36 brigand outlaws who are just hustling towards us, you know? So now I don't know what happens if I try and like walk them out of my base here, which is an interesting question. Uh, another thing that we could try and do, we can open the castle planner and we can try and make an outer tower.
try and make a couple of outer towers there, right? So you grab a unit, you click and you drag and you can do sort of like the density of them. Right, so we can do something like this. Hey, Jaded Thief, thank you very, very much for paying that gift sub forward. Appreciate you. How y'all doing? Looks like the mercenaries are going to arrive well before the bandits do. I did get them on a forced march though. I was like, y'all need to hustle. So there's a stamina thing. You can see their energy is tanking, but I'm like, I need you to book it. Look, I'm paying you by the hour. <laughs> And I'm going to get my money's worth, right? Yeah, the RTS controls feel really good so far. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is... Man. Why can't Farthest Frontiers combat feel like this, right? <laughs> like... Oh. So, what's happened here is every man in the village was given a weapon. Uh-oh, wait. Are they also going after those bandits? I hope not. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now that they're here. So the goal here, I know they're archers. The goal here <laughs> is to get the, uh, the mercenaries take the brunt. If there's any melee, they should be the ones engaging. Wait, they're falling back. Why did I hire these mercenaries if you're not even going to attack me? Whatever. Let's go clean out this bandit camp then. I think they're turning around. They're going to attack these brigands for hire. Man, the neighboring people literally just hired brigands. Well, the problem is I only have 30 days <laughs> until I can't afford to pay them again. So like, sheesh. Look at that. 25 days until they leave. What's the mercenary between mercenaries and brigands for hired? Uh, basically the equipment they start with. So I've got heavy mercenary archers and light mercenary archers. Brigands are basically just dudes with sticks. So you can see like, they look like thugs, right? Alright, I need you to hustle, and you know what? Y'all can... I don't want to say disband. Maybe disband? Head home? Alright, I right, get back to work, I guess. Look, it's time to start plowing the fields. I don't have time to play this weird game of chicken. So... Yeah, they're going to fight each other. Wait, no, they're coming to me now? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so confused.
No, I turned off Fourth's March. They're uh, they're they're getting a little bit more energy now. Okay, looks like they're gonna scrap, which is great. So at the very least, what we can do is we can grab this bandit camp. I believe. Let's see. So I have 536 influence. Now what happens if I do this? When searching through the enemy belongings, you find a stash of goods. They could be sent to your people who surely need them, though it is your right to keep it. This is probably me. Send it to the nearest town. This belongs to my treasury now. Treasury claim. I got $133 dues. Sure. Uh, let's go. Apparently, I didn't get anything there. Let's go this way. 16 days. Y'all. <laughs> Got 19 ale. Amazing. All right. Speaking of ale, let's try and build ourselves a tavern, which is quite large. So... You know what? I kind of like it. Does it fit here? Oh my god, it does. Love this for the tavern. Little community tavern here. Hopefully that's close enough that these people benefit from it. Wait, actually, that's an interesting question. It only costs five logs? Sheesh. Fulfills one level of entertainment requirement for the, the burgage plots. You know what? No, I'm going to build it closer... Because I really want this to be all tier 2 and tier 3s, which means I want the tavern to be here. Which I'm hoping means it's close enough that, like, these people stay happy. Oh, I keep it. It doesn't go to my... Oh, I have this army for two more months now. Let's absolutely go scrap here. All right, I don't have no idea what's going to happen. So the brigands are going to fight the brigands. In the woods. I hope the other Lord's Brigands lose. I like that. <laughs> Do it! Yeah, get them! <laughs> Tag yourself, that's me. You're doing great! You got him! Go for the eyes! Right, <laughs> like... Double time. So the bandits are winning currently. Oh, tie game. All right, who do you think's gonna win here? Brigands or brigands? <laughs> Oh, two more have fallen back. You think of the brigands? Good good vote, good vote, yeah. Whoever wins, banditry wins. Is there an indicator of how combat is going? So they started with 18 each. So at the top here, you could see that five other people have gone. Also, there's a morale indication. So the morale of the outlaw brigands is doing slightly better than the brigands for hire. You're looking for like a back and forth bar? I kind of like it doesn't have that. Hold on. I need, I need to make sure that this all gets tilled properly. So let's throw one more family down there, right? You think the numbers might be a little bit too tiny? Where's the combat happening? Right, it's over here. Eighteen on the Lord's side, nineteen on the bandit side, eighteen to eighteen. <gasps> and then Joe brought me pizza. Alright, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait for this fight to end. 
The winners who ever painted their minis better? Well, I can't help but notice that the bandits didn't finish the bases of all of their minis. Uh, and they've been eliminated as a result. So archers don't do great if they're surrounded by trees, which makes a lot of sense. God, I love this game. I'd like you to know that I'm 100% not paying for another month of these mercenaries. Just if you're at all curious. So this is what happens when completely even forces fight. They are very well matched. They're so well matched here. And then here's my extremely expensive mercenary company. Oh, so looks like the outlaws. Actually, one of the outlaws are great. I just want to help. I just want to fire one arrow before this ends. Wait, are we shooting? Into the woods? Are you going to fire ever? Or are you just going to posture? Get a little closer, I guess. Hey, what's up, Nevermore? Oh, one of them broke. No, I need to help. I need... No! No! Where are you claiming? Are you claiming? Because oh, they just got the huge injection of Watchman Doodle. Resolve the claim on the battlefield. Is that bad? Can I shoot them now? I can shoot them now. Get them. Mess them up. Mess him up. Oh, yeah. Keep firing. Wait, did you already just win? All right, so this is the province we're fighting over now? We're fighting over Goldhoff. Where is Goldhoff? Oh, Goldhoff. This is where we are. All right, so apparently we're fighting over that territory now. All right, um, apparently we're going to war, y'all. Because, uh... Oh, wait, they're behind me. Light mercenary infantry. I wonder if that's going to kill my mercenaries. Get my money out of them? I got 11 days. So, hold on. I got food. I got food. I'm hungry. Oh, my God. They're just throwing so much money at the problem here. Hold on. Two can play at that game. Where's Nusshole and Ichimaru? Nusshole's all the way over here. Jeesh, that's so far. The flock of crazy geese. Hold on, let's... Let's fall back to our territory. All right. I'm going to save. I need to eat this pizza. I need to eat this pizza. It looks so good. Actually, no, no, no. I should have saved for war. What is it good for? I didn't save before. Uh, oops. Well, 
we'll see where we end up. All right. Please hold during the lunch break. When we come back, war. Hello. What's up, everybody? Oh, God, this game is so good. I can't forget to eat, though. Welcome to lunch break. Ooh, let me see if I managed to fix Spotify. Can we listen to music now? Are you still broken? No. All right. So apparently logging out of Spotify, restarting my computer and logging back into Spotify has not fixed Spotify. No lunch music, only vibes. I don't want to make you too jealous, but I need you to take a look at this pizza. Look at this. Oh my God. So this is a delicious thin crust bacon and egg pizza and the other one is a spicy hawaiian so hawaiian with um banana peppers on it and they are both unbelievable mm. Mm. sounds like a breakfast pizza i mean it is 11 15 a.m this is close to being the perfect temperature. Sing for you? I can't sing for you. I'm eating. You need to sing for me. <laughs> so the first pizza is great because it's salty. And the second pizza, the pickled banana peppers are so sweet with the pineapple. Oh, what a combination. So happy Sunday to you, friends. How are you? I hope you are well. <sighs> what should we talk about? After being live for 36 hours over the past couple of days, I'm um, I'm out of things to talk about. I need you to lead the, con <laughs> the conversation. Slayer says, you don't want me to sing for you. My singing skills are at the level where if you continue to sing, we'll kick you out of the guild. Can we weaponize that? I do have an upcoming war. Could I hire you to demoralize the enemy, Ink Slayer? What am I reading right now? I just started another new novel series that I'm really enjoying. It's called Supreme Lord Colon. I can extract everything. And it's really fun. It's like a very, very, very classic, like power fantasy style fantasy novel. And I love it. If you like, like Shonen's, check it out. It's good stuff. Uh, what are we doing here? Entrouded is fun. I can't wait for Entrouded to get more updates. I'd go back to that. Ushi enemies hit less. I mean, they give you a dodge roll. You kinda, they kind of got to hit you hard if they want you to have a dodge roll mechanic, but that's fair. My installed now after the move. Any boxes left open. We unpacked all of our boxes within the first 24 hours. The second day after we moved in, my buddy picked me up and we went to the landfill and we donated, pardon me, recycled every single box and all of the packing paper the second day i might be a crazy person the only the thing that we haven't done now is we haven't hung up all of the art because some of the walls are concrete and because i don't have a solution for all of the art i've hung up none of the art which is kind of stupid <laughs> The other issue is we have a little bit of a furniture mismatch and we don't really have furniture mismatch budget right now, which is, you know, we're doing a subathon. <laughs> it all adds up. 
So I need to get, um, we need to get Joe a desk and we need to get a bedside table. And then I think we'll be in a pretty good spot after that. There's a fruit fly in my office and it has to die, but it's flying directly between me and the floodlights, which makes it very hard to locate. I'm not a ninja. Ah. Oh. <laughs> You're not allowed to hang up art within your first year. I mean, I got this foil sheet just sitting on the floor beside me. Uh, the other thing I need to do, still not a ninja. The other thing I need to do is I need to make this, this giant white background. I need to make it a little bit less, a little bit more interesting. So maybe the day I uh, I take Ben Ben for an ice cream adventure, he comes over and we talk about prettying up the set. What if I just go back to Alberta and steal the jersey? <laughs> it's a thought. It's a thought. Signed 99 jersey would fit pretty well behind us, but then where would you go, chat? I leave the space empty for you. I don't really want to futz with a green screen. One of the nice things about our space is the natural light is really good. Like I have the drapes open, the curtains open right now, the window rather open. More open. Ink Slayer, friend, thank you for the team order. Look at that. 1,400. That is an amazing number. That is an incredible show of generosity from the entire community. Thank you so much, everybody. I yawned and Serge turned into chair. Surprise! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, speaking of subathons that never end, there's a streamer I really like to watch named uh, Dolphin Chemist, and he's on day 40 of a subathon right now, uncapped. And he's just like, yeah, I'll go 12 hours a day for as long as you want. And you're like, my, my dude, <laughs> that, <laughs> pardon? <laughs> so, I mean, he doesn't have a second job. That's all I'm saying. I think at this point, he's at, I think, like 9,000 subs, which that's a pretty payday, you know? Like, that ain't bad. That ain't half bad. I do worry about the health of a 500-hour work month, you know? <laughs> Wait. Oh, sorry. Only 450. Only 450 hours. Pardon me. But that's an okay paycheck. <laughs> oh, sorry. Did I get the math wrong? 12 hours a day would only be 360. Sorry. Sorry. That's much more reasonable. Yeah, an average person works, what, 160 hours in a month? <laughs> Man, there's going to be some, like, I want to wait 10 years from now. There's going to be some really interesting studies that come out talking about the long-term health impacts of, like, full-time content creators.
Jojo. Do we have any birthday cake left? Can I have some birthday cake to end lunch with? Thank you, my love. Hey, what's up, Kel Keldarin? Pardon me. Thank you so much for the 16 months. Serge, birthday subathon. They're on the same time. I'm in a position to sub again. Coincidence? I think not. Perhaps a conspiracy. <laughs> Thank you, friend. Worker health isn't profitable under capitalism. Mm, but what if instead of having a boss, you're your own boss and you just work all the time, Max? Thoughts? Medium, please. Just ask me how much cake I want. I said medium. I don't know what that means. Long-time streamers turning to transplants after destroying their voices. Oof. Uh, yep. <laughs> no, 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 no. See what we can do. We don't need to transplant our voice. We'll just have a trained AI algorithm. That can just match our voice. That's all you need, right? Serge, that might have been the most medium, sweet, sorry, the most Swedish thing you could have done. Order my cake medium rare. Sorry, what's Swedish there? <laughs> Strange way Twitch works. I was charged for my latest sub here this morning, but my sub anniversary is in 15 days. I don't understand. Ooh, that's a good amount of cake. I got a middle and a corner piece. I th I think she rounded up. I would like medium cake is very Swedish. Well, it was either a small slice or it was a large. Yeah. Joe rounded up. Anyways, I'll show well, my hands are out. All right, Joe, I need you to show cake. She's in her PJ. She doesn't want to end up on camera. <gasps> Excellent cake. <It's> long. <laughs> long cake. <laughs> Joe says she's very, very pleased with the thumbnail for episode one of Manor Lords, which is already live on YouTube. So thanks, Joe, for that. Huge. So yeah, we have a YouTube channel, exclamation YouTube, where the VODs go. So if you're curious, you can see that. And you can also tell Joe she's amazing for all of her hard work. Just saying. All right, be right back. So the nice thing about that pizza is it's wood fire oven. The The bad side about that pizza is it's got all of the like burny, crusty layer at the bottom, which is really excellent, but makes your hands dirty. So anyways, I had to wash my hands before cake. Jason? Hi, Jason. Thank you for the 45 months, friend. All right. Let's get right in on that cake. Look at that. Look at that birthday cake. Ooh. Ah. She made this for me. I got home baked birthday cake. Isn't that amazing? Mmm. Chocolate. Joe says we're almost out of cake. What will I do? I guess my birthday is officially over once the cake is gone, you know? What's that, sweetie? Right. As soon as the cake is done, I get to take Ben Ben out for ice cream. So, you know, it's like the birthday never stops. Joe, Jesse improved his complimenting your YouTube thumbnail. 
Well, they said goat out of 10, no notes, so I can make a guess. <laughs> Not allowed to go for ice cream with my friends until I finished my cake. You know what? Tough but fair. Hey, so real quick, real quick. Obviously, the subathon has been a, like a financial success. This number is abs this number is absurd. This number is absurd. And thank you everybody for that. But on top of that as well, uh, viewership has been amazing. People have been hanging out. All kinds of new people have been showing up and saying hi. And to those people as well, I want to say thank you. Like making an event out of this, making something that people want to hang out and be a part of. Uh, new people showing up and saying hi and like ideally getting to see the best of this community. That's been really cool. Uh, and I think that has been... I mean, <laughs> that's been the best part about this. I mean, I want that to sound genuine because it is genuine. So yeah, thank you, everybody. That's all. Just a little moment of of heartfelt sincerity while I eat this cake. Thank you for clapping, Milk. <laughs> Everyone's like, aw, and Milk is like. <laughs> All right, one more bite of cake, and we've got a war to win. Feels bad that uh, the other lore just has so much more mercenary power, but we'll see. If we fight it, we die. That's okay. The subathon vibes have been great. They really have been on both sides. My Prime subscription lists as renewing today, but still doesn't give me the option to use it. Yeah, there's a little window for error in there, weakling. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, everybody. Mm, God, that's good cake. You ready to get back to the video games? Checks out giant black screen. You love giant black screen? Well, you're in luck. All right, so currently we have this group of archers right here who are being chased down by, oh my God, their retinue is 36 people? Well, this is bad news. <clears throat> are they going to get cut off? No. How do we surrender and become their subjects? Now, really quickly, didn't I hire another large mercenary company? Weren't they coming in? Wait. Did the save happen after I hired the mercenaries? No, I have no money. Where are you? Oh, they're right there. All right, y'all need to book it. The flock of crazy geese. <clears throat> so I really want to fight in an open field. Where I could take advantage of... Is this a river? Is this a border? What is this? Oh, this is a river. Let's go. I'm 
Yeah, we want an open field. We've got more archers than they do, so I want to make sure that um, that works. Call up my own forces? No, I don't want my people to die. I don't care that much. The, the mercenaries can fight for us. I mean, I could send my personal retinue, maybe. But, like, what are five people going to do? I could send my archers, but I kind of need them to, like, plow these fields. So, nah. Nah. Maybe I'll send my retinue out. So it says my retinue is 5 out of 12. Why? I wonder why it's not more than that. Alright, are we going to get there in time? How are we doing? Really trying to hustle here. <clears throat> the battle for Goldhoff. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. In theory... I should win. Why aren't you firing? Instead of shooting a volley, soldiers aiming directly. Okay. Increases accuracy up close, but decreases accuracy at maximum range or more. <clears throat> so what I'm hoping to do here is actually have something like this, right? Shoot. They're tired, so their archers are getting a chance to move here. <clears throat> nope, you need to you need to fall back. You need to run.
What do you think? What do you think of the strategy so far? Man, these guys got sent on a wild goose chase. Their archers are all the way over here now? Oh my god. My poor soldiers, they're so tired. This is actually going tremendously well. Get in there, personal retinue. So it kind of feels like I can just throw archers. Uh, please charge. I mean, you're so tired. That's fine. Mess them up. All right. <clears throat> Kill. No, don't charge in. Don't charge in. Stay back here, please. Will you fire into there? Are they not going to fire in? Oh, I'm being, like, mega flanked here? Are you going to shoot, please? Who's this? Hello? <laughs> hey, what's up? Are you firing? No, they're just cheering. Okay. Do you want them to fire into melee at mostly your own soldiers? Uh, I believe you'll find none of them are my soldiers. Oh, friendly fire mode. Wow. So I think we're winning here anyways, right? I have no energy. But they have no morale. <laughs> well, we got some target practice. I did lose one of my personal retinue. You know what? No, 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 no. Let's keep him in there. Do you have any clean shots here? Stand still or I'll shoot you. What? I think I'm winning, y'all. I can make it worthwhile if you drop your claims. Uh, right back. My claims are non-negotiable. Where's this fight happening? All right, they, they've also been broken. Okay, are they going to send more people in or no? So, y'all. Okay, my personal retinue is going to head home now.
You know what? 16. 12. Oof. Uh, sheesh. And then the archers are basically untouched. I think I did a very good job there. Thank you very much. Sora, thank you very much for the 250 bitty. So I can't hit their place. So I believe, because there's nothing to hit, right? They just have a claim in the ground, but they don't have like buildings anywhere to do anything. So what happens is we're fighting the battle for uh, Goldhoff and we just have to chill 80 days. So I think I'm fine to pay for the Wayward Sons again. Uh, and then I don't think we pay the flock of crazy geese a second time, but I don't know what's going to happen in 81 days, right? Like maybe, maybe they hire another mercenary company. Maybe they roll it on back. I just don't know. <clears throat> so let's, uh, let's chill for now, shall we? All right. Wait, I don't have any berry people. That's fine. Sorry. I don't have any spare people if I do that that way. Will there be peace when you're done? I don't know. I do know I want to lay my weary head to rest, though, and not cry no more. Wait. Some For some reason, it showed me the province of Hofstetten. I wonder how I, I increase my retinue. Because it said it was up to 12. I mean, I guess we'll see later on, right? I have negative 7. To planks, which is interesting. I have a plank deficit. I have paid my due. Oh, my logging camp is way down here too. Interesting. Feels like they're not buying my bows here. Hey, I have vegetables now. Okay, great news. The vegetable plot, the vegetable plots have done something. Love to see that. I also love that I have this army that just, your mission is to stand here in the rain. Carry on. <laughs> With all the bodies, that's right. Respond to correspondence. I will make it worth your worthwhile to drop it. No. My claims are non-negotiable. Imagine that this will get a little bit more fleshed out later on. You think the geese are fine with a little bit of rain? Like water off their back? Is that what you're trying to say? Alright, so what is the expected harvest on this one? Oh, are they... No, no, no. They've barely just been whatevered. Sixty-nine days remaining in the war. Nice. Oh right, I forgot I was building these towers. Sheesh, that was silly. All right, I got one of them done. This is a new village. Coming soon. 
I love our little market, by the way. Isn't that great? <clears throat> Resources stolen by bandits. I need that food. You took 12 food. That's actually kind of a terrifying amount of food. So, like, the other thing I could do, provided this weird army never shows up, I could go try and stomp some more bandit camps, right? <clears throat> we'll see. So, I'm going to assume that nothing is working here anymore. And I'm just going to demolish this mining pit. That's going to give us four people to finish this, which is great. Surrender. Locked in early access. It's the current development state of this game. This is a private creator and media pass before public early access starts on April 26th. All right, it would appear that our tavern is almost done. How much beer do we have? I have none malt, and I have 37 ale. All right, you're home. That means you can go back to whatever. So, recruits missing tab. A minimum of five equipped recruits is required. Make sure you have enough recruits and appropriate weapons in the region. How do I fix that? How do I make more into here? Customize. Retinue customization. Aha. Oh. Oh. All right. So I got three people. I got Dits. Hells and Herman. Yo. Upgrade their armor. Oh, wow. What? You can do this for every person in your team and give them like specific... Oh, my God. They level up later too? Yo. Forged his own weapons. Acts arrogant and privileged. It keeps track of who they've defeated. Yo. Every time I click on this game, I find more... More to love. Wow. A message. Every time they offer, they offer me less money. Okay, it is time to, next payment is due. So I have to go to army and I have to go to the infantry of the crazy geese. And I have to disband them. Because I cannot afford them. And I can... I barely think I can afford the archers, if, if I'm honest. I somehow in 12 days have to make $45. Uh, I might have to bump up the tax rate here, actually. Oh... Ten percent of this is twenty-six dollars, which would be literally one dollar more than I need to afford them. Thank you to the crazy geese. Appreciated it. Go raid the bandits. Well, I need to keep an army in that province in order to win. Right. Otherwise, it is neutral and nobody wins. Both challengers must bring their armies to the battlefield when the time runs out and there's no challenger's troops. 
present on the battlefield, the Lord who initiated the challenge wins. So my hope is I just keep people there and then they're too afraid to come and challenge me and then I'm the winner. We got no crazy goose money, it's true. All right, I have a pub. So what other resources am I making now? Uh, I should probably try and get some sheep going. I think I need a couple more people before we get any sheep going. God, I'm so food poor. So once we get to a thousand honor, the goal is going to be to grab this province so we can start getting some more food. Because holy moly, is it ever low. Maybe I get this province? Actually, well, that's hard for me to get to. But, you know. It's not like Buddy here is doing any development in his lands. So, I don't know. Uh, my approval is green. High population growth. That's amazing. So let's see if two families grows in at once here. Okay, I have to pay them in five days. Currently can't afford it. Uh, let's see what happens first. <laughs> Otherwise, hold on. Otherwise, I'm just going to send my retinue back out. So how do I... Hold on. How do I create... How do I fill my retinue up here, right? Because they took damage. Hey, anybody who's been watching other streamers, what happens if you lose... Like, how do I grow my retinue, right? Because I look at them, and it tells me I have... I'm missing recruits. Well, how do I how do I get more? Is the problem that I have this spear army, and now... Now I can maybe rally more? What's up, Lunar Eclipse? Doesn't seem to be through the manor. Recruits missing. So I got rid of my spear army. Specifically so I'd have more able-bodied men. There's three there. What is people under the manor? The families that live there. This menu is just a list, right? So this is the servants that are living in the manor. That's not the retinue. Is there maybe a military building I'm not thinking of? Hold on. There is a building under the castle planner called the garrison tower. Increases your maximum retinue size by 12. Limit one per region. Not enough goods. What am I missing? Planks. Okay. Find a star house for your excess weapons. I do. It's called commerce. <laughs> I'm supposed to be selling them all. Oh, I do have this militia of other people. Okay, that's fair. All right. Will I tax before the wayward sons have to carry on? Lunar Eclipse. Thank you very much for the 67 months. Appreciate you, friend. A new message. Right back. No. Like. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to have to send someone else. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I can do anything right now, which is kind of a bummer. So let's try another military crew, crew here, right? So form a militia. I don't want it to be 60. Like, how do I change this number? So I right click, I cancel the whole thing. 
Spear Militia. Shift, Control, Alt, Shift. Equipment is missing. Like, how do I how do I customize this in any way? Or is it always just up to 36? It might just be up to 36. I need an army to be chilling there. So like, go have a good hustle. Retinue depends on buildings in your manor per Google. Okay. So it looks like I do have to construct the, the garrison tower. Well, goodbye, wayward sons. Carry on. Do I have a keep or a fort or anything? I have a manor. I have a manor and my manor has two towers. I have some manner of manor. Soldiers flee. All right, so hold on. This is all nice and planted, which means these seven families go back about your day, right? Uh, they've only been... So oh, no, they're not done being sewed. Okay, this one's done being sewed. This one is not being done sewed. Oh, interesting. So one of them left, but the other stayed. That's very interesting. I wonder why that is. Weird. I wonder if that's a bug. Do I just have like a free army now? <laughs> hey, free army. Sick. <laughs> Excess goods in my saw pit. Well, that's one that's complaining. You're fine. The manor is fine. I don't know why we have a generic storage house is full. Uh, that one's also fine. This one is... Would be fine if I had... Actually, it's kind of weird that nobody's come to grab the stuff from there. That's, that's fair. My assumption would be... I have no idea what the assumption would be. Maybe I need to get a second large storehouse. I don't know. The fact that there's like 31 logs in this logging camp and yet they're not bringing it over to this empty storehouse is odd to me. I really like these controls, by the way. I think this is very elegant. Do I have a free ox to pull the logs? I got four oxes and they're just vibing. Cause like the oxens are typically only doing stuff if there's construction projects queued up. So yes, the answer is I do. I'm doing everything right. I don't understand what the game is waiting for. Start upgrading all these level ones. I want these all to be level twos. There. It's the children that are wrong. No babies. No children in this game. Maybe that's going to come in the 1.0 release. Show home. A 
new families moved in. Great. So it's just one family. Eh? Oh, wow. My, uh, ooh. I went from 82 down to 63% happiness. So. Well, I'm excited for 44 days to go by to see what happens. I feel like the, um, the battle for Goldhoff is taking a little bit longer than I want it to. Maybe you want that kind of time to go by, right? All right, so the next goal after this is going to be to get another kind of food going or another type of industry going, I guess. I don't know what wooden parts are for. Maybe I should start making some wooden parts. I mean, no, maybe that's bad because then my inventory just gets full. All right, what do you got? Oh, I can make you level three. Ah, <gasps> ooh. That's exciting, y'all. I'm just gonna end the conversation. Level three boozery, right? This is the first time we've ever made a level three building. I'm very intrigued. A new level of drink. If only we were so lucky. A lot of resources to bring over now. Hey, we almost got 100 people. That's an exciting milestone. Oh, ooh wee. What is this? Look at this brand new expansion they're packaging to the side. Oh, wait. No, they're deconstructing the old home. I was kind of hoping it would fill the whole lot here, but still. What do you got? Wait, okay, we're over there. So they're not done yet. Both challengers bring their armies to the battlefield. When the time runs out and there is no challenges troops present, the one who initiated the challenge wins. Wait, I, I killed your retinue before. How did you refill your retinue? That is literally the army I already defeated once. That's not fair. I tell you what, I'm going to stand in here for 27 more days. And then if they go and they attack aggressively, I'm just going to give it up because I can't beat that. They have more dudes. There's no there's no shame in having fewer dudes than the computer, right? What's my expected yield here? 103 days. Okay, these families can... Let's leave three families to sort of maintain. Like, what are they doing? Are they still planting? We shouldn't still be planting. We should be growing now. There we go. Okay. Perhaps most of them ran away and now they regrouped. Hmm. Hmm. Seems unfair. I thought I queued up. The garrison tower. I did. It's right there. Wait. 
Oh, I can't commit because I don't have enough logs. I understand now. Okay. You like this game needs a scheduling system? I mean, again, very early access. I'm down with this game being a little jank right now, you know? Reminds me of Total War. I like this so much better than Total War. The fact that it smooth, it seamlessly transitions between the city building and the combat. Cause like in Total War, you have a lot of fun playing like the full tactical combat, at least for me, the full tactical combat, like, I don't know, three or four times. And then you're like, oh, I'm tired. I just want to auto resolve, <laughs> you know? At least that's how I feel about it. It makes the village feel so much more vulnerable. The fight is like right there. Yeah, like what if these guys just turn around and then like run over our town after, you know? Maybe they're an idiot and they just give up the territory. Maybe I'm an idiot. I'm in the right province, right? We're fighting over Goldnoff. The battle for Goldnoff. Why does it say that this is the battlefield location? That's not where... Oh, I'm currently losing. Oh, I am losing. Okay. Well, neat. Because why would the battle for Goldhoff be fought in Goldhoff? Of course. What a what a ridiculous idea, right? Okay, I am losing. That's fine. Ardris, thank you for the 68 months. <laughs> All right, y'all. Just head home. And this free mercenary band that I get to keep forever? Come on home. To second place, get Silverhoff? I hope so. <laughs> hey, what's up, Shay? Thank you for 47 months. Twenty-five timbers. I require thirty timbers. They don't seem to be buying my war bows. I don't understand why that is. Buy my war bows. Am I just producing them too quickly? Respond to correspondence. Hold on, that's a good idea. Maybe I should have, I should have, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello? You're right, you're right, you're right. If I talk to him now, I may with, withdraw my claims for such a price. Peace declared. Did I get big money from that? Oh my god, I did. Yo, I got hundreds of gold out of them. You're a genius. Yo, Mr. No No, thank you. Hold on, you're right. We could go bully some bandits. How much of a problem is it that he's eating up the map and we're not? Well, I mean, the AI always gets an advantage, right? I cannot claim province until I get a thousand influence, and I have no influence, so like... I have no idea. But the game does look bugged, and it does look like I, like I get to keep this mercenary company forever, so that's cool. Big fan of that. This little gateway is so cute. Can 
Can I solve influence with money? No idea. How'd I win over the mercenary group? Well, I did build the tavern at about the same time. Coincidence? Almost certainly, but you never know. Hundred and one people, all right. So this time I built pretty close and it looks like everybody is happy and satisfied, which is great. Okay, it's June and nobody is in there now, which I think is good. Let's try and get some more berries here. Get some more berries and maybe get another chop chop camp going on. I don't know. Scouting unit to see if thing, anything's going on anywhere. I think we have full vision of everything that matters in this game. I don't know, like what, what's your thought, Square Dog Cube? Why does it say my manor is full? My manor is full of what? Oh, nope. I right, still need 30 logs. <clears throat> so here's a random question. Oh no, I have enough. We should see what the AI has built. The AI doesn't build, Square Doc Cube. The whole premise of the game is that Hildebrot von Brunudin isn't actually on this. They're off map and they're just competing for, um, they're just competing for influence. They're not on this map. They don't have a base that we can attack. Uh, instead, they fight for claim over the territory and send enemies in. So. So yeah. A transmuted elf, thank you for gifting the sub to unpronounceable. The double alert. All right, we getting tuckered? We're getting a little tuckered. All right, let's just get a good walk going on here. Oh, oh, they're coming out to meet me. Interesting. All right, fall back. I didn't realize that those bandits were coming to scrap. So the bandits seem to have perfect information about the fact that I was coming for them. All right, you're tuckered from the big run. Give you some time to try and heal up. So they got two stats, I mean, three stats. They've got the number of soldiers we have, uh, their energy. Hey, Yalk. <laughs> Thank you for gifting a sub to an unpronounceable name. I think it's pronounced Susan. Oh man, no, don't mind me. Just walking on through. Yalk, thank you for the 73 as well. Guess app, thank you for gifting us up to Susan. Hold on, so 36 archers. 
Shot at... Okay, there we go. There's finally been some casualties. I feel a little bit better about that now. Wow. Let's go. So let's head here, take the camp out, and we can also head north after, trying to get a bit more money. All right, so that's neat. I got about 300 influence for crushing those bandits. So that's good to know. That's very good to know. All right, let's build that um, thing now. Good old Susan. What timer? What happens when the timer hits zero? I'll uh, thank everybody and then go lie down for two days. <laughs> Fair, yeah. Oh. Oh. I mean, considering we only had like 20 or 30 minutes when the day started, and we're at four and a half hours so far, it's, <laughs> I don't believe that number. But when it hits zero, I'll respect it. If it hits zero, we're done, which will be great. Am I late? Never mind, nerd without a name. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no sleep, apparently. No sleep. Okay. Jeez. Uh okay, hold on. What just happened? Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Time out. <laughs> I can't keep <laughs> I can't read the alerts. No. <laughs> oh my god. What is the Was this coordinated? <laughs> actually, actually, what just happened? Wow. Let's get some bongo cats, please. <laughs> huh. Y'all, am I okay? I have a lot of complicated feelings right now. I'm obviously very tired. 
I, yeah, I, I got got. I got absolutely got. I was like emotionally preparing myself to start wrapping up. And then <laughs> there wasn't a digit here a second ago. <laughs> we had the fifth. Oh my God. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. New sub goal needed. Let's, let's let it cook, right? I don't want to move the goalposts. This is an amazing milestone. Thank you so much for 1500. Right? Like, I feel I feel it's disingenuous to, to just, is that how I spell the word? To just, like, move it right afterwards. That is remarkable. Let's enjoy the moment, right? You rendered me literally speechless. I get to buy one of my favorite friends, Poutine, as a gift from the community. So thank you. I'll post photos. Uh, and uh, I guess I'm streaming another three hours today. So... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's all something y'all uh, I literally like I, I can't I actually can't because of Manor Lords switch windows to figure out who who to thank for that what's that sweetie I, I don't I don't know what you're saying sweetie but that's okay so thank you Maybe somebody could help me out with that. Everybody just gifted subs there. You're all, <laughs> you're all ridiculous. I Was that a bit? Like, was that organized? I don't understand how you did that. Okay, Joe. Anderchrist for the five. DeGatsby for the five. Uthway for the five. Falpier for 10. Raiden Firewing 25. Honey Banani with five. Felix with 10. Yalk with 10. And Inkslayer with the six. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I don't understand. All right. Oh, all right. We're in this bandit camp. What what happens here? A message. When searching through the enemy belongings, you find a stash of goods. I will send them to my people. If it was a bit, I just jumped on it. <laughs> All right, we gained regional wealth this time instead of personal wealth this time. And uh, let's go, let's go get more bandits, shall we? Thank you, everybody. We also had Nerd with a name for five, Spurious with 10 before Andercrest. <laughs> I was distracted on Instagram and suddenly heard all the sub noises. <laughs> I was also not involved in any pre-planning shenanigans. That was just spontaneous. <laughs> Regional underscore wealth underscore gained. Open bracket. 165. Close bracket. Same game. Same. 1,500 subs. I think this might be close. There was one time... So, like, full transparency, normally I hover somewhere around, like, 600, maybe 800 subs. Like, if we're really popping off with a Minecraft playthrough, there, seem, there tend to be more people there. So, this is the highest sub count we've had in a very long time. And I don't know if this is the highest sub count we've ever had. There was one time, um, specifically, when Serafina made the... The Phoenix is a sort of goodie mod pack. The chat just lost their mind. And just, I don't know what was going on there. Ink Slayer led a lot of like, let's break surge days, which was weird. <laughs> don't know what that was all about. <laughs> uh, and I think, I think that may have set the highest number, but this might be close. Six years. New milestone. I like seeing people cry from being happy. Yeah. I saw people putting down subs, saw Surge slowly breaking down and thought, let's pile on. Thank you. All right, it's gonna be a little bit harder for my archers here. So let's see if I can't, let's see if I can't fool these bandits into coming out. Oh. 
So we got the money right now that we can maybe start importing some other stuff too. We'll see. My pantry is full. My forager hut pantry is full. Now, I have you. Ah. Let's try that. Is Ink Slayer the Surge Breaker? Are there bandits here? There are no bandits. There are no bandits in Ba Sing Se. We started today with 20 minutes and we're going for eight now. Yeah. People cry in this world too much from sadness. What little can be done to have people cry from positive readings is a worthwhile goal. I love that. I love that. Thank you. So apparently I flooded the war bow market. Nobody wants to buy my war bows. Like how many war bows did you buy? Your cart is empty, sir. Devastating. Lucian Freya, thank you for using your prime here. Happy tears, the best tears. Trying to see. We didn't get, we're not off by one. We're still perfectly at that goal. <laughs> you can't blink chat Lottie is saying you looked away there's your first problem never look away so one of the issues I'm having right now Ooh, I can upgrade you to level 3. One of the issues that we're having right now is the Fletcher will just perpetually turn planks into just perpetually turn planks into um, bows, but my bows aren't selling. So I have to keep chopping down trees to keep on top of it, which is tough. I mean, transmuted elf, you may have you may have started this whole thing. It's true. So I feel like the pace of our growth has slowed down a lot. We were kind of we we're kind of cruising for a bit. We got these farms going, and I don't think much has happened. Maybe I keep slowing down though. That's fine. My Fletcher's in the zone. Nothing but arrows. Yeah, I guess so. All right, so this should get us more money. One hundred and fifty-two dollars. And then because I didn't actually defeat any bandits, apparently I don't get stats from that. Are there any bandits here? Just another camp. No, there's just another camp. Where'd all the bandits go? I guess the bandits have all been defeated. All right, that's fine. Is my garrison tower built yet? Uh, no. Oh, yo, for whatever reason, uh, it looks like my peasants decided that they had to unbuild my towers and then rebuild them. Well, that's frustrating. So all we added was one more building to it. And it looks like when you hit a button there, it, um, it I mean, that's got to be a bug. That's got to get refixed too. All right, let's send you home. Been having so many laughs in this marathon. So thankful that y'all made it happen and keep making it happen. Thank you. Pretty sure that's intentional. I mean, I can understand this being intentional if I had moved stuff. But the fact that these towers hadn't moved and we added a new structure to it and they treated that as they have to tear down everything and rebuild it, that, that shouldn't be intentional. That's not how that should work. I say that with some confidence. Dog chat a little for personal reasons. My dad passed away earlier this week. And this channel in general, and the subathon in particular, has been a beacon of light shining through the fog my brain has had. Oh, Ink Slayer. I'm so sorry, friend. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. 
Thank you for confiding us on that. You know, we need we need to send some good vibes in Slayer, please. Thank you for spending that time with us. That's huge. Y'all. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, you can do the lurk hide thing. I can't. Hit me with one of those, and now I just have to sit here and smile. <laughs> What's that, sweetie? Joe says I got my little backup bun if I need it. All right, let's get ourselves another little logistics friend here. Another mule. Kindest. <laughs> Perpetually so proud of how much light this community shines in darkness. We've made a, we've carved ourselves a pretty neat little corner of the internet here, haven't we? Oh, lack of admin building. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> Minus 10, lack of building order. Minus one, drinking. <laughs> that cracks me up. Do I have people living here yet? I do. Get some chickens. How about you? You got a family? No family. No family, no chickens. Wait, you live here. We want more structure and also slightly less booze. Anybody ever play, I think it was Fable 3, where you could like make the people happy and give them all booze. And then as a consequence, all of a sudden people are like nasty throw up drunk all over your entire kingdom. And you're like, well, this is not the outcome I wanted. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Yeah, I just have this free mercenary company forever. I'm not complaining. Hundred and fifty-three dollary dues. All right, come on back. All right, next goal. Once we get a couple more people, I'm actually going to start trying to plant trees in this area too, so we can get a sustainable chop chop. Now, August, we need to move a bunch of people over here. No, it's September that we start the harvest, right? Yeah, September to November begins the harvest. Estimated resources produced. I mean, I guess I've got two more months to let it grow. There you go. Up to so we got 45 from a field that was about a quarter the size. And if I only get, if I don't get four times as much, I'm going to be pretty disappointed, y'all. All right, can I level this up again? I cannot. Why would I assign more families to the church is an interesting question. is a question I find myself asking. Does church make happy? Yeah, but it, it, it doesn't necessarily look like I need to have more or less people working in the church. It just needs to exist. That's the part that's curious to me.
don't have to go to church. We just have to look at it. New mercenary companies available. Let's find out a little bit about them, shall we? We got the Ravenous Vultures. It's like a hundred light mercenary. We got the Green Caps. I wonder if their hats are actually green. And then we've got the Flock of Crazy Geese are back. We got, a, we got good vibes with the Flock of Crazy Geese. They did a solid, you know? Oh, residing family. Great. Have some chickens. Hey, we're doing all right for veggies now, which makes me kind of happy. Our food's looking good. Need another chop chop. We'll just wait for this to finish if it ever finishes. Oh, you know what it could have been as well? The reason our construction could have been so bad is um, we had 20 strong, able-bodied men out in the field wielding spears or whatever. Welcome to Sergeburg. Here's your chicken. <laughs> Yeah, stuff like, I still don't entirely understand how logistics work in this game. Because like, for example, the granary. I would assume the role of the granary is to run to places like here, the forager hut, and empty their stuff out and run it back. And then these market stalls are also kind of weird, right? So if I have three people here who are running berry market stalls, and the granary, whose also job is to grab berries and run it back, why is the storage in my forger hut overflowing, right? Like, I would imagine their job would be to take everything from here and carry it over. Hey, what's up, Ferrisar? That would be my thought. Well, well, well. If it isn't Mr. Ferrisar. Ooh. All right. Correct me if I'm mistaken. That's a toilet, right? <laughs> That's a toilet, isn't it? With uh with a 100% just a very efficient plumbing system, you know? Right where the merchants are coming through. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's a heart-shaped solarium. That makes sense. <laughs> Historically a great place to be assassinated from? Well, you see, you just have to have a crossbow. You just have to have a crossbow and aim straight up. Oh, interesting. They did leave that open. Oh my God. They just left it open so you can see. Oh, all right. Nobody stand right there. Hello, tis I, the Lord. I've come to inspect the new digs. Okay. Okay. Um... I think you forgot a staircase. How do I get into my new tower? Hello? Hello? I like totally ordered a staircase here or something. What do you mean no children allowed? I'm the Lord. Say it to my face, peasant. <laughs> okay, good. I feel like I feel like there's a stair or a ladder missing on this one as well. Okay, whatever. There's no door, it's easier to defend. That's fair. Oh, geez, I fell down the stairs. Don't mind me. <laughs> All right, so now that this tower is built, can I, can I do anything with my garrison? I click on my garrison.
Oh, there we go. Was this button here all along, y'all? Recruit a man at arm. Recruit a ministerial. Promote one of your citizens to your retinue. Locked in early access. Oh my god. I don't know if that was there before or not. Wait, we have a Sask plan? Specifically a plan in the prairies? <laughs> All right. Eckhart. Oh, y'all. You know what we can do? We could absolutely name our retinue here. Wow. Ferrisar, you're in. Oh, I hit a button. Oh, oh no, he swole. <laughs> Yo, he, he looks so good. Y'all. Wait, are those gloves just always going to be red then? Interesting, interesting. Wait, is it my pants I'm changing? Oh, it's the back. All right, so that's the main color. Okay. And then the red is the gloves, question mark? No. What are, what are you? Yellow. Where's, where's the yellow? And the shield doesn't have any color. Defeated foes. Can speak several languages fluently. That's what I know about Ferrisar. More personalization coming later. Sick. Wait, you cost 655? No. Ferrisar. Alright, let's get Jojo in here. Of course, we can't have an army without Jo. Let's upgrade her. Oh. Oh, so fancy. Joe, what's your weapon, sweetie? Joe says she's an axe wielder. Big shield or little shield? It seems like a Joe type of shield. Yo. Oh, we got a match. Hold on, let's get some more blue in here. Let's get some more blue in here, you know? Claims to have performed a miracle once. That sounds like Joe. Amazing. Channel moderators. Would you like to get in? I didn't give Ferrisar an option. Which one of you wields an halberd? Arclight? Kits? That's Arclight? All right. Arclight wears a relic around his neck. Hello, Arclight. Max wants to get in too? Amazing. All right. Ooh, that screams Arclight. Arclight, tell me your three favorite colors. Green, blue, and green again. Oh. All right. And then Max and Raven both want in. Love it. Max forged their own weapon. Hmm. I think this one looks fancier. Max, what is your primary weapon? Are you uh, a sword, an axe, a morning star? 
or a hammer. I also need you to tell me your three colors. Sword, please. All right. And then Raven, same questions. That wasn't a morning star. Was it a mace? Yellow, black, purple. Love it. Uh, there is no black. There is no black. I can give you purple, but there is no black. I'll go with brown for now. White instead? Yes. All right, we'll do this, but the opposite order. Why is that shield purple? Wait, that's the color you chose. That that answers that question. Uh, let's go the other way around with those. There's no purple really showing up. Can I do it the other way around? No, no, no. Nice. Nice. All right, Raven. Arrogant and privileged. <laughs> War pick. There you go. And then what do we get? Uh, green, blue, gray. Green, blue, gray. Let's do a greeny bluey shield. Nice. Any other moderators want to get in? I can hire more people here. Kits. Unfortunately, I don't get a lot of customization. All right, I need colors and a primary weapon. Can I get you some kind of spear? It doesn't look like it, unfortunately. I don't know why one of them had a spear and the other don't. Always has a good anecdote, you know? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to select that. Axe works. Okay. And what are your three colors? <laughs> Yelk and Ink Slayer like as fellow mods. <laughs> what color didn't I have? Black. Also, this is kind of neat. You can't see it right now, but there's like Level up stuff, purple, and then red, and then blue. Ooh. Yep, I dig that. Uh, Joe says, I can't go without suffix. All right. Wait. Why does Suffolk's get a spear? You know what? I think I'm just going to leave that armor that way, too. All right, Suffix. Always has a good anecdote. Wait, no. Wait, hold on. What do we know about Suffix? We're gonna give suffix the diorite colors of white and then gray and then white. All right, sorry, this is also important. We gotta spell it correctly, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to fight, my lord. Oh wait, there we go, there we go. Suffix the Duke of Diorite. All right. Hey, we got ourselves a little bit of an army now. Look at that. Our personal retinue is all the way up to 24 people. 
I don't know if I could have hired them previously. I don't know if I had to build that building. Because I think when I was looking at... How'd I do it again? Retinue customization. Was that button always there? I think it might have been. You think the building was necessary? All right. That one isn't a halberd. The one that has a spike on the top is. Oh, it's an axe blade or something. All right. Look at that. Making money. Is that what I'm making for selling Ann Warbo? No, five bucks. What did I make eight bucks from? What else am I selling? How am I making money? Oh, I am selling. Okay, they are eight bucks each. Okay, okay, okay. I sold a couple. No, I didn't. I sold shoes. Can somebody please buy my 33 war bows? My family is starving. <laughs> All right, another hitching post is done, which was out here. And we are going to upgrade it, and then we're going to buy two more cows. All right, it's August. It's about time for the harvest. Swords and daggers are just short axes. It's true. Sword, classic flat axe. Dagger, short axe. Club, bladeless axe. Axe with kicker. <laughs> the spear is the long, long axe. You got it. <laughs> Armor is just a hollow axe. That's the nega axe. Sword, pokey axe. Dagger, small pokey axe. Spear, long axe. Club, wooden axe. <laughs> Double-headed axe is just, hey, look, we get it. You love axes. All right. Can I build more houses? It's been a while since I built some houses. So if I make two there, oh, I love that. Look how cute that is. Good houses. So this one, I wanted to be long. With the fields? Let's try rotating these. Um, What do you think? I mean, that's kind of cool for like more crop houses. Actually, let's rotate it twice. Yeah, love that. Two houses right next to the well. And then we could get some more like uh, veggie gardens in there. Bows are still bows, but they launch axes. <laughs> You're from Germany. You may have been to this town. Apparently, the town in Germany, Bitecaster, is uh, Oak now. There's no H in it, I believe. You can correct me if I'm mistaken, but there was another German in chat earlier who said they lived 20 minutes away from it. And apologies if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. All right, we are now harvesting. All right, I got six families working on harvesting here. Our fictional city has an extra H. Yep. Exposed stocks are getting soaked. Field. Wait, sorry. Are you trying to tell me that rain is bad? Or are they leaving? Are they like chop chopping it and just leaving it out? So there, there isn't really anything to show the field, which is fair. It's an early act. They'll probably do. That's probably something they'll add later. Oh, I have no fuel. I can now. 
Somebody was telling me it was oak earlier. I can now. I thought I I tried earlier. I can. Oh, it translates to oak. That's not how you pronounce it. Oh. I stand corrected. I have 100 timbers. All right, I could probably cool it on this now. Make sure to I can subscribe. <laughs> Thanks, kids. All right, let's get some sustainable planting going now. So gathering, we have the forester hut. And imagine this is going to be a great little team here, right? Logging camp, forester hut, and the stable. That was so bad I had to unlurk. Yeah, you tell them. You tell them. My pantry is full. Which is full? Maybe one of these houses? Hey, we got berries. We got veg. All right. Ninety-five wheat. Amazing. Reminder, when you move in, you get a chicken. Because Matt's not here to demand more goats. Turns out you have to, like, really, really work in advance to get enough bread coming. A lease signing bonus. Welcome to Eichenhau. 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 Trying my best. Here's your chicken. Are roads and paths generated by people just desire paths? A little bit of both. You can lay down a road, which it snaps to. So, like, these are ones that we made ourselves. Uh, but other ones are desire paths. Like the fact that this whole market is grass now, that's all just from people walking through it. What's up, Raisin Coalition Games? Welcome on in, friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, the double raid notifications are still going. Delightful. <laughs> Don't know why that's happening. How you doing? Hi. My name is Serge, and I'm very tired. Thank you for raiding Thank you for trusting me with your community. Mr. Bevers, 52 months, rated. Oh, do you have something to do with this, Mr. Bevers? Tell me. <laughs> what a boy, Tiger. Wait, I'm also getting duplicate text messages? Zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
All right, how are we doing over here? <clears throat> the wheat is being collected. I have 101 wheat. I have 79 barley. Did we get it all? I don't even know. <clears throat> People are still working. So I feel like the math is kind of off, right? We had a field previously that was literally a quarter of the size and it gave us 45 wheat. The fact that we made this like mega field and we put so many families to work in it and we only got 101 wheat out of it feels kind of bad. Is this a roguelike? No. No, this is Manor Lords. Does it contain rogues? Not that I know of. I mean, maybe. Maybe if the drunks keep happening and the admins keep going down. Are we man or are we lords? Uh, I prefer to be a dancer. Wait, what do you mean bandits? Where did you come from? They took our wheat. Next, they'll come for our freedom. Summon the militia. We found the rogues. Y'all can walk. No hustle. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, I don't think I feel good about this. I don't feel, think I feel good about the amount I got out of this. Oh, interesting. Are they already starting to plow? Well, well, well. This one's going to lie fallow for a season, right? Wait. Did I get the rotation wrong? Follow year two. Follow year two. Wheat. Wheat. Uh, I don't understand. It's fine. How would you pronounce that word? Nuslo? Or Nuzlohe? <laughs> I prefer the second pronunciation personally. I think it's fancy. Wait, the second is actually closer? Wow. <laughs> That's low, hey. <clears throat> huh. It's pronounced Susan. <laughs> All right, how's the how's the army doing? You're getting out there. So, what are things that I want more in this game? I think the defenses might be a little bit interesting. So, I I don't know how I love this sort of castle system right now because I don't I don't mean. If the other lords never build on your base, it feels kind of weird why you're going to build this big, like, defense here. But maybe, maybe as you get later on, like, you get attacked more. And as such, having a bit of a castle works. I've never actually had to see what it looks like if I get archers in there or not. I don't even know how to make archers get in there. So, so that's interesting, right? Have the bandits noticed our presence yet? No. All right. Let's uh, let's set up here. And what we want to do is we want to try and bait the bandits out because my archers don't do much in the forest, right? Oh, here they come. Let's go. I feel like walls are very important to the foundation of a new community. 
I don't know. I like, I think about Farthest Frontier, right? And there's elements of Farthest Frontier that I absolutely love. And I love the aesthetic of it. And I feel that the lack of like being able to build walls all the way around your city feels kind of bad. But maybe, maybe that is still something that I can do. But at the same time, I don't even know if I need it, right? Fire! There's always some random dude walking through our fights here. One more shot. Does that cost them? They started at eight and now they're broken. Let's go. And that got me, ooh, 1.2K. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is big. So. Iron clay berries food. What is more exciting to you? Infinite clay and infinite wood? Or infinite iron? I'm going to try and claim a territory for the first time, chat. And I'm curious, I'm curious which side you think we should go for. Left side or right side? Iron or clay? Angslayer likes the left side. Transmuted Elf also likes the left side. Major Frostbite likes clay. Weird. Both? No, no, no. And so, in order to claim a region... Oops. In order to claim a region... You have to use a thousand influence, and after defeating that abandoned camp, we now have twelve hundred. So, iron makes more weapons than clay. Sure, let's give that a try. All right. So, what if I claim this? What happens? Claiming. Man, I don't know why auto mod did not like the word clay. So let's learn what that mechanic looks like. We have about uh, 30 more minutes that I want to play this game today. The reason for that being my brain is starting to get full and I need to, <laughs> then I probably need to switch to something with more vibes. But before that happens, first off, let's appreciate how good this road looks. Like the fact that you don't need straight roads and the farms can follow that is beautiful. Uh, but two, I'd like to see what claiming a new territory looks like. That's the two things. So yeah, they can try and counterclaim me and we could fight, which would kind of suck because they've historically had more money than me, but we'll see what happens. The fun will begin when you get to start a new town in the new territory. I don't know. I have no idea. When searching through the enemy belongings, uh, send it directly to my treasury. I might have to hire mercenaries. Their UI, by the way, for combat is so good. Like, just grab a tab, grab an army, direct it directionally. So good. Keep your roads as queer as possible. I saw a very funny tweet this morning or some day other, I can't even remember, of uh, somebody got a mod for their Bellatro that changes the word straight to gay, and it just, just made me giggle. Ah, a royal gay. <laughs> Delightful. <laughs> This Joker gets 10 points more powerful every time you gay. <laughs> leather, leather. 
perfect for boots, belts, and well, anything really. All right, they're not fighting me for that, which is good, I think. I mean, I do have this illegal army that's just kind of occupying our lands, but I'm, I'm down with it. <laughs> Must be awkward for that joker that wants your hand to be a gay that contains an ace. Okay. Beautiful. We got a winner. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, all right. Multiple region management. You can quickly cycle between your commanded regions by pressing T. So now what? Now that I'm here, what do I do? How do I send people here? So do I just build, let's try something here. Uh, there's a work camp I can build, right? So let's start with a settler camp. Careful, you're about to run out of timber and block yourself. So it costs me money, okay. Oh, so check this out. Over here in this area, I have no timber. Oh my God, you run them as completely separate? And then you send them. What? Uh, town. Okay, looks like not all the options are open now. Oh, this is very interesting. Town, farming town, forest town, mining village. Okay, so I only have the one option for now. So I do this. Cost me from my treasury. And I start with five villagers. So can I trade between them? Like what happens there? So hold on. I imagine I don't get to do anything until I have a trading post. I mean, this reminds me of Anno, right? T for t t switch between the regions. <laughs> it's interesting because we're neighbors, right? And... I don't know how I feel about the fact that our... Like... We don't share resources that we like can't carry stuff back and forth or something like that, but we'll see. I don't always love games like this where you can't start with a little bit of an advantage, you know what I mean? Oh, y'all are just kind of chilling and not doing anything. So let's get a logging camp going. We'll see once this grows to the size of having a trading post, if I can send stuff back or not. So this still has the same, oh my God. Oh my God. So this one gets its own perks. So you can specialize them as well. Holy moly. So I could have one that's just focused on trade. I could have one that's just focused on farming. Oh my God. Y'all. Depth. Do the two reasons share resources? No, they don't. So check this out, right? Whoop. Whoop. Did I lose people? No, I didn't. Somehow, 
I guess when I expanded over here and I just like asked the king to show up and the king was like, yeah, don't you worry. All right, so again, I want to get a storehouse going pretty quick here because my stuff is just rotting and I want to get a granary. Um, where's my town going to be? I guess I'll put my town here-ish. So I want the granary and the market to be... I guess I'll put the market here. So I'll start with houses here. Not enough wood. How dare you? Don't be shy, good sir, lady. We got people here? Nope. Where are the people moving? They moved in, they get chickens. Yeah, all right, you get your chickens now. How about you? Oh, so one of the things that I have done, which was not great, is I have sent these people to this new area right before winter time. <laughs> right? Uh, so that that is interesting and something to think about. It's going to be a mild winter. I'm sure you're correct. All right. I don't need all these farmers now because it's the off season. Uh, so what you can do is you can work in the windmill and you can work over here to get ourselves more malt and more wheat. Turn on that grain to flour. Yeah. The only season we have is in the bottom right corner. We got that little December thing there. Which I've been looking at a fair amount for stuff. Right. All of their food. Crap. I went and made berries. Uh, that's... Good job, Jaeger. Good job. Right. The berries go away in the winter time. All right. It's going to be a tough winter for this new settlement here. People are already complaining in the tavern. And then our Lord sent us to a new region at the beginning of winter. It's obvious this foppish lad has never worked a day in his life. <laughs> Smooth hands. All right, I got firewood already. Let's get you some houses. Wait, I don't have any wood. Uh, eight timbers probably enough. No, no, no. Let's get up to ten. How dare you question our Lord? He is noble and wise, and I, <laughs> and I'm not just saying that because I'm afraid for my life. Good. Our <laughs> Lord should really invest in the UI budget. <laughs> What's a UI? Don't you mean UX? I don't know. Uh, oh, I need 12 wood for that? Boo. There is a UI scaling, but it doesn't scale elegantly. This is actually already 20% enhanced. Again, this is all a for now sort of thing. Uh, why can't I build this?
Why, why, why can't I build here? What is, once again, I'm confused. No, I got the resources for it. Like you can see up at the top, I have 10. Road axis obscured, but like I got two roads. I don't know. Could build it there. All right, how are we doing over here? What are our goals? What are we working towards? That's very interesting. I mean, we're, not, we're probably not gonna get to it today, but I am curious how trading posts work. Like if we're able to, um, since it's a major trade, a trader is required first. Like, do I have to buy it? But like, I guess regional wealth? Very curious, very, very curious what this means. I just realized I should take all the stuff that's out and just put it away. I think the window should go over there. So you're saying there's a road access problem is what they were complaining about? So weird. Where do you see that error message? Yeah, I just it just says red and it doesn't tell me why it's red. That's so weird. No, the plot's definitely not too small. I mean, the problem is it has no, no information as to why it doesn't want to work. That's fine, I'll put other buildings there. Oh, something I did before. This might be kind of weird. It's had to break it up with a road, apparently. Hit him with some goats. Is it five houses max per row? I don't even know. Some spaces are too big, right? So I've been trying to break some stuff up. Uh, all right, do I have enough people living here now? Does everybody have a chicken? You have a chicken? Good. Good. Now you're going to be vegetable crops again. All right, so I got families here. You know what, let's make the big one goats. Actually, let's make both of these goats. It's cool that I can get multiple level threes here. Let's get the cobbler up to level three if we can. It looks like they also move in in order that they're built, which is kind of neat. Oh! So Imarath just leveled up. Very interesting. I'm not as worried about trade here. So I can now focus entirely on stuff like <gasps> B 
beekeeping. Interesting. Maybe that's what I want as a starter. Or maybe we just get like some starting food. Right. Hold on. So this one has infinite metal. Maybe this gets into basic armor making, right? Weird. Is this default speed? I'm at 4x. There's, um, I tend to be going between 1 and 4x a lot. Gives us access to the apiary. No, no, no. We, we grab this village specifically for metal, but I don't think we start there, right? I think we grab maybe beekeeping to begin. Metal and bees. So hold on. I get three points pretty reliably. So what if I go, what if I go uh, free meat, bees, and then money, right? And then metal, pardon me. I like that plan. It has bees and metal. No one will dare to attack. Well, I've also got this big brother, right? All right. So this worker camp can be removed now. So we've got the granary. We've got the storehouse. I've got one person getting us meat. And then I need to make a market pretty quick here. I guess I have to wait for that to leave. Not enough supplies. One month of fuel. Well, that is a problem, isn't it? <laughs> You've already had a family move in? I noticed, yeah. We're flying now, eh? Ragnar Hayden, thank you very much for using your Prime here, friend. Hope you're having an amazing day. Oh, nobody pointed out the team order moment. We almost had two, 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 two. Oh, well. Maybe we can get a screenshot for when we one, 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 one. I guess we got to bring everything all the way up the hill, huh? Look at this. Just another random die walking by. Hmm. I have no fuel. That's exciting. It could happen again. It could happen again. Surge 11111 implies number go down. Fair. Very, very fair. Oh. Oh, this is exciting. So this just leveled up as well. So exciting things we can do here. One, we can start providing firewood and bread just for money, which we have lots of here, right? So this feels like the right size of town if we want to start getting foreign supplies. The other thing we can do here is heavy plows so that our farming is more efficient or can't remove one, or we could take better deals for commerce. Now... I don't know. A lot of good options. Deep mining. Right. I guess the other place we want to go on that town is um, probably basic armor smithing, charcoal, and then look at that. Enables the building to extract resources indefinitely if placed over rich deposit. Like, how great is that? Better deals. Imports? Yeah. Let's save this for now. Because the thought would be, under trade, if we don't want to start making our own stuff, we could start importing it. But maybe I don't actually care about that. No, I think I do eventually. Like, I'm going to run into stone, right? I'm going to run into planks. Taking 10 off of that 
is wild. That's so powerful. Then we can start providing a huge variety of food to all our people, you know? I know it's not that kind of game, but deep mining should be able to unlock dwarves. It's very funny. <laughs> it's making my brain tired when you say Manor Lords has been taxing. Yes. <laughs> Actually, at that point, I think we're going to call it here. I could go for like another 12 minutes just to make six hours perfect. But I think, I think we've had a good milestone, right? Like we've unlocked the next tier. This is now a small town which is wild to think about. And we have the development of the new town and it just kind of, it kind of feels like a really interesting new beginning if we wanted to continue. So I think this is an excellent point to leave it. We can start thinking about stuff. So it looks like the eventual goals are like, how do we get conquest from this, right? So you need to start getting enough influence either through continuously defeating the bandits or something else that we haven't seen yet. Like, I'm technically taxing the church for like five influence per turn, but the victory condition is to own all eight tiles. And that's interesting to me, right? Like, how do you get there? And obviously the game is still in early access, so there could be entire other things to do that just don't exist yet. Yes, we're tithing the church and we're taxing our citizens, which is interesting. Forest fire seems like a bad name for an area. Yeah, the Germans are like, wait a second. <laughs> uh, this game is great. This game is really, really, really good. And it's only going to get better. I mean, full disclosure, I was given an early key to this game. Thank you to the devs for that. I'm not getting paid to say anything nice about it, though. All right. Thank you, friends. Thank you for joining for day two of Manor Lords. You're beautiful. Goodbye. <laughs>